How about Nick Scardelli? Who he was bombing it out there in GTM Automatic. Ended up 1.203 under with a little mercury. So Nick Scardelli, number one qualifier. Congratulations. And uh, here's all the one-second under cars. Let's see. It was Mark Lebrecht, Guy Desjardins, Jeff Lawrence, Russ Linke, Ken Shannon, Carl Martell, Anthony Bongiovanni, and Eldon Baum were all one second under or more. That's like the one second club. <laughs> A very elite club, I got to say, by the way. And in Stock Eliminator, oh boy, a whopping 20, what was it, 22, 22 people, how about that, went one second under or more. How about Ron Infantino, 1.277 under, Steve Smith was two, Scott Underhill, Dennis Chapman, James Morgan, Nick Ryder, Ken Kopecky, Allison Dahl, Billy Harper. Jack Mateus, Ron Muffett, Rich Boyle, Mark Howes, John Wareheim, Kevin Anderson, Steve Salka, Jim Perrone, Ryan Horensky, Steve Zubka, Adam Strang, Mike Farrell, and Jeff Eastburn all made the one second under club here to this weekend. 22 of you here in Stock Eliminator. Wow. That's saying something. Well, I'm giving you all a big pat on the back for that. Because that's not easy to do. All right, looks like the track's all ready to go. We just got to get the uh, wheel uh, hooked up right here on the tractor to get it off the track. And then we're, uh, we're good to go. You know how this mechanical stuff, sometimes she, it just gives you a problem. Then you got, oh, and then you got this problem, and oh, boy. Well, as soon as we get this off the track, we're parking this tractor. We've got several more, so uh, there's no waiting out there for that. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying. Drag racers, <laughs> excuse me, drag racers, they know the deal. Hi, right, once again, Super Pro Junior Dragsters, right now to the lanes, please. Super Pro Junior Dragsters to the lanes. So we need the pros up front, the Super Pros right behind them, and uh, we'll call it right there for right now. And uh, as soon as we get done rolling the uh, Junior Dragsters through, the uh, six to nines, we'll call up Motorcycle ET and get those bikes ready. Your final time shot.
All right, we got the tractor up moving there like it should. And, uh, okay, roll this thing off and uh, bring up the junior dragsters. Six to nine. Put the helmets on, suit them up.
All right, here we go. Starting things off on a wonderful Sunday. Oh, boy, here at the MicroStrategies National Open at ACO Dragway. Life is good, isn't it? <laughs> We're so happy to be alive, especially on the Lord's Day here on Sunday. Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day and beautiful racing. And, of course, beautiful, safe racing. Got to throw that in there. We want everything nice and safe for everyone today. No hijinks out there. <laughs> Here we go, Austin Booker out here, left lane, taking on the Christian Handwork. Junior Dragster demolishing the competition. All right, just starting out here with the new car. Austin. All right, nice light, old 58. Hey, the old man's teaching him well, right, just for starters. And he'll go 12.06 with a 5 at, at 53 miles an hour. 90 on the red light there for handwork at 12.61. I'd like to call Motorcycle E.T. right now to the back of the lanes. Motorcycle E.T. to the back of the lanes. Let's go. Bring them up. You get one time shot here today, and that's it. And you go right into round one. Motorcycle E.T. right now to the lanes. Bring it. All right, at this time, I'd like to call Super Street right now to the lanes for round number one. Bring it up. Let's go. All right, so once again, we need Super Street right now to the lanes for round number one of eliminations. Bring it up right now, Super Street cars, and we need Stock Eliminator to stand by for round one. Here comes my main man, Cole Payone. He's such a hoot, man. I love talking to that kid. He's cool. All right, he's got Paige Doney over there right side. Oh, boy, how about a 17 light for Cole, man? He's a monster out there. Kid's probably just six years old. <laughs> 
He's cutting lights like the big boys out there. Let's see what he can do. Oh, 1191 with a five at 54 miles an hour. Oh, boy. I wish that was him. <laughs> 67 light over there for Paige and 1186 at 55 miles an hour. All right, next up, left lane, Kyler Payon. Taking on the Natalie Olt, junior dragster, right side. All right, once again, we need Super Street right now to the lanes. Bring it up for first round. All right, 42 light for Natalie, right side. 135 out there for Kyler. And she'll get down there first. 1216 at 52 miles an hour. 1391 right there for Kyler at 46. All right, bringing up the next pair is Caden Payone. Boy, he got a lot of Payones out there running the junior tractors. Everyone's got a car in that family. That's right. From grandpa on down. <laughs> and these kids love their racing, I'll tell you. All right, Kenny Lannerman taking the right lane this time. Let's go. We need those super street cars up to the lanes for round one. Bring them up right away. Super street. Here you go, Ken Lamb. 51 like Kate Payone, 071. Final time shot before eliminations for them. It'll be Payone getting down there first. 903 with a 7 at 72 miles an hour. 918 with a 2. The Lannerman at 7310. Chris Faraka, track champion, Super Pro Junior Dragster. He's taking on the Rob Grant machine out there. Robert Grant, coming out of West Creek, New Jersey. Last time out. Double 01 on the red light for Grant. Oh boy, he's got it figured out pretty much there. Chris Faraka goes 73 on the light. And how about first to the strike by a bunch out there. It'll be 7.99 for Rob Grant at 80 miles an hour. 7.97 with a 6, 82.2. So a couple of good hits right there. For the Super Pro Junior Dragster guys. All right, all the motorcycle ET should be in the lanes right now for your final time shot. We need Super Street. Let's go. I don't see many cars up there. We're going to need to see you right now. So bring it up right away. Super Street right now to the lanes. And Stock Eliminator, stand by. I'll be calling you momentarily.
right, here we go. Olivia Gale taking on the Emily Stalba race car here. The new car for her. Looking to do some damage out here. Had the uh, Wally at the Cecil County race. 26 light right there for Emily. Olivia going 063. And a 793 with a 181 miles an hour for Emily Stalba. Olivia goes Here we go. Next up, Landon Kennedy in the left lane. Zach Gale. Over there in the right lane. First to the stripe, Zach Gale gets there with a 40 light, 818 with a 5, 78 miles an hour. How about Landon going 52 tree and 898 at 73? Here's Zach Grignon coming out of the left lane here, taking on the Mike Sharico Jr. Jr. dragster. Let's go, Super Street, right now to the lanes. For round one. All right, a nice 790 with a six right there for Zach. 15 on the red light though. Shiriko, 26 light, 795 with a nine at 80. Here we go, Anthony Magliocco coming up in the right lane here. Oh boy, <laughs> he was looking good already out here at ACO. And he's taking on the Trevor Ulrich Burger 25 car. Oh, big red light start there for Anthony. 96 on the red light. Trevor 069. With the green light on 793 at 82 miles an hour. Problems out there for Fonz. Not really running like it should. Kind of on and off and on and off there. Gonna have to go back there and whew, work on it.
All right, waiting for him to clear the track, and we'll bring up the next pair, and that will be Brandon Lee and Joey Torchia. All right, next pair coming up, Joey Torchia here right side is Brandon Lee, the new driver out here in the left lane. All right, Joey, 903 with a 7, 70 miles an hour, 1132 out there for Brandon at 56. All right, here we go with Paul Staub, left lane. He'll be taking on Charlie Blitterstorf. And the red light for Paul by 20 now. Charlie goes 076 on the green light. And he'll click off a 785 with a zero. 785 with a zero for Paul also, both going 83 miles an hour. All right, Mikey Ulrich out here in the left lane. Madison Schomberger takes the right side. All right, last call on the lanes for Super Street. Last call, Super Street to the lanes. And standby stock eliminator will be calling you next for round one. All right, couple good lights there. Madison, right lane, 45 light, 59 light, left side for Mikey. And they both run 785. 785 with a 1 for Madison, 785 with a 9 for Mike.
Let's see where our air is at. How about uh, oh. 64 degrees, 48% humidity, wind just 3.8. It's a little bit more than that though, coming from the west. And the water grains, 42. That sounds good. How about 506 feet of density altitude right now? Oh, boy, we should be going fast out there today. All right, Ryan Schmidt, right lane. J.J. Schomberger here in the left lane. Right, 19 life to J.J. Ryan with a 36 life. Boy, the kids are on the ball here today. 786 with a four for Ryan, 83 miles an hour. 792 right there for JJ at 82. Oh, nice 16 light for her. Sean Nardi going 064. 78 with 9 with Nardi, 81 miles an hour. 811 with a 9. Madeline Torchy goes 79 miles an hour. Right, here we go getting to see the first uh huh, what is it like a funny car street roadster i don't know yeah i guess all right looking kind of cool out there the half scale the new style brand new car they just came out with them this year gonna take on let's see alphonse Maglioco, i believe yes alphonse three and the Hangster Furs, metalworking. Gavin Roth over there, right side, in the, I don't know, funny car. All right, 21 light for him. Fonz with an 8 thou red light. Gets down there at 786 with a 5, 82 miles an hour. Right lane. How about the altered there, the roadster, I should say. 816 goes 77 miles an hour, 21 on the light. All right, just a couple more juniors, and we're going right into the motorcycles, and then straight to first round of eliminations with Super Street. Once again, the live feed here, sponsored by MicroStrategies, of course. Thank you for their uh, gracious help out for everybody that's uh, sitting at home, can't go to the racetrack, they got a motor on with it. Whatever the story is. <laughs> yeah, I'm busting on you. All right, 37 light for Frank Aragona, three right here. It's on the red light there. 799 with a zero, 81 miles an hour. Gabriella Bucco, left lane with a 62 light. 911 with a one. Goes 70.51. All right, race four Wally today, of course, in all the classes. Brings out all the good cars. Here we go. We the gangster, Francis Vignola, left lane, and he'll take on the Larissa Oles machine over there, right side.
Ooh, got a lot of junior dragsters out here today. I'm surprised. Double O one on the light for the gangster. Oh, he's showing it all right there. Larissa Oles, a 102 reaction time. 797 with a five for Vignola. 81 miles an hour. 897 right there for Larissa going 72 miles an hour. I believe this is going to be the final junior dragster. Oh, boy. Then we'll roll through the motorcycles real quick and then go right into round one. Car here, yes, it is in junior drag. So 798 with a zero, she'll go 82.34. All right, roll up the motorcycles, get those done, and then uh, right to round one. I'd like to get Stock Eliminator right now to the lanes, please. Stock Eliminator. Let's go. Bring it to the lanes for round number one of eliminations. Stock Eliminator, please. All right, looks like the track is clear. Roll up those motorcycles, boys and girls. All right, here we go, bringing up the first pair of motorcycles. Run these out and then go right to round one. Here we go, Lawrence Curry taking on his wife, Lakasha Curry. Qualified very well. Both coming from Philadelphia, of course, on Hayabusa's. It's gonna be uh, Lawrence in the left lane, Lakasha, his wife, over there, right side. Hi, Lakasha got him on the light again, I'll tell you. She's beat him on the light every time down the track as a pair. 008 to an 18 light. She'll run a 944, 145. He goes a 917 at 148. <laughs> That's so funny. Here we go to Jones Brothers out here. Chris Jones left lane. And it's going to be Carl Jones right side. 
1847 34 on the light nice light Chris Jones a 103 light runs the 1127 at 138 Call him the start, right side, Scott Jones. Jones boys out there, 233, red light. Colin going 57 on the green. He'll run an 887 on that uh, ZX-14 Kawasaki, 151. High boost left lane for Jones, a 908 at 147. All right, right after the motorcycles, we're going to do a slight invocation, a small invocation, and then go and do the national anthem, and then we'll bring out Super Street. So you can stay out of your car here for just a little bit longer. Kawasaki Willie Bar bike, the old air cool machine, 940, 137 for him. And Curry, 929, only 122. Double O two on the light. Oh, she's looking tough out here. And runs a 948, 146 mile an hour pass. Robert Brooks on the ZX Kawasaki. How about a 47 red light going 965 at 138? Bill Burst coming up. Where's the Harley fans? Give the Harley fans a big whoop whoop right here. Out there left lane up against Bill McCann out of North Cape Bay on the Kawasaki right side. All right, 44 light out there for the big twin Harley. And he'll run a 1222 at 107 with that unmistakable sound. 871 right side at 155. Here we go, got another Holly. Robert Willis, the B Rod Hard in this lane up against Mike Sadowski. Boy, sounds like he's got it running fast right here. How about that? He'll go 894, 142. And a 944 out there for the Harley at 138. John Snyder Sr. out here left lane on the Pro Stock bike, and he'll run 11.37 off the throttle upstairs. Problems for him, it looks like. 
1046, right lane going 132. All right, John Snyder Jr. coming up here, right left lane, up against Jeff Cesare. Like there for John Snyder, 21 red. Jeff having a double 08 light. Lakash still better. <laughs> All right, a 842, 155 for Jeff and Snyder with a 927 at 150. Sorry, that was uh, Derek over there, right side, last pass. This is Jeff Cesare. Jody Piazza out here left lane in the uh, early Kawasaki. on the green out there for Di Piazza. And he'll run 866 at 150. 818 right there for Cesare going 160 miles an hour. And I believe this is the end of the motorcycles right here. Final pair, I believe. And then we'll do a slight invocation and uh, the national anthem and go right into round one. All right, check the top end real quick right here. We need stock eliminator once again to the lanes for round one. Stock, round one, bring it up. All right, let's see who had the best light of that uh, motorcycle round. I wonder who. <laughs> I think it was that girl on that blue bike. <laughs> So far, there's still two left, though. Is she biting her nails? No, she don't bite her nails. She don't worry about anybody, including her husband. It's going to be Van Boyce, left lane, Mike Trembley in the right side. All right, looks like an 890 out there for Mike Tremley, a 143 light. Van goes 010 on the light, 844 with a three at 157. All right, I'd like to uh, start a little application right here. And uh, no, no, no. And uh, I want to thank the Lord for our great uh, weather here, of course, number one. And of course, I want us all to be safe. The Lord will bestow his graces upon us here today. And I want to thank all our great NHRA family and all our sponsors and participants here at the track today for a very safe day. All right, I'd like to have everyone right now stand and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem.
Hit it. All right, America's still the greatest country in the world. And as soon as we get rid of the deep state, it's going to get even better. You guaranteed right there. I know everybody's tired of what's going on right here. All right, not to get political, but uh, let's go racing. Hey, that's what we came here for. And we want to uh, bring out the super street cars. Round number one, here we go, the micro strategies. Series, the National Open Series, sponsored by MicroStrategies. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what, we've got a good car count. Got a lot of cars and a lot of fast cars out there, too. And we're going to have a grand old time today running to the end. And crowning champions in all the classes. Everyone gets a Wally today. So good luck to everybody, and let's give them what you got. Give them your best. Like my dad used to say, he'd say, son, just do your best. And that's what I'm going to do, daddy. Give him your best. All right, here we go. This is round number one. Starting it off here, John Grob out of Delran, New Jersey. Jay Neville right side in the Camaro out of Franklinville. Here we go. A couple local boys start things off. The first pair. 1090, the index. First one to the finish line without breaking out. Gets the job done and goes to the next round. Oh, it's a red light start for the Corvette by 8,000. Putting the Camaro automatically into round number two. All right, how about a 1093 with a zero? 28 on the light, oh boy, he'll go to round two. Anthony D. Leonardo, Tony D. out here to all us locals. Eddie Bloom in the right lane, oh, it's gonna be a Tony D. red light by just 5,000. Eddie Bloom putting up a nice double O two light on the pro light, and he'll get a free ride into round two, running 1103 with a nine. Whew, how about Tony D., he put up a 1029 with a five, he's like, ah. I'll show them. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay, here we go. John Ausherman coming up here, driving the uh, JKR Monte Carlo. Getting a little bit of free seat time out there in the uh, small box car out there from just 
Jeff Kondratik Racing. Larry Pulver left lane to Camaro. Here we go, we're green and green. For the first time here. Phew, boy. Gonna be a tough one right there. Ho oh, ho! Asherman with a double O one light loses, goes four over with a three. Left lane, how about a 14 light? 91 with a zero. 24 package winning by 20 thousands right there. Larry Pulver continues. All right, James Moshear right side, always tough with that hot Mustang over there right side. He's got Doug Fellenbaum coming out of Pottstown, PA. Paramount Solar owner and operator over here with the 71 Nova. All right, last call, stock eliminator. Back of the lanes, bring it up. All right, oh boy, they're locked up in a good battle right here. Who gets down there first? It's gonna be tight at the stripe, you guarantee that. Oh boy, right side by 26 thou runs a 92 with a seven, left lane off a little bit, hit the brakes. Ran a 94 with a six, only 130 miles an hour. So James Moshear, who had a little bit on the light right there, only about 700 or 7 thousandths, I should say, 14 light to a 21, but it will be James Moshear, the winner. All right, Greg Kelly, he's got the hot little Monza out here, left lane, the Motorsports Innovations car here, the race pack salesman. And he'll go up against Dave Anama. The Chrysler Baron right side. Oh boy, showing a lot of fenders, showing a whole car length out in front of Greg right there. Greg's got some top end for him, though. You watch. Oh, got around. No, he didn't get around him. Right side got there first in a double breakout. 89 with a 9. Beats an 89 with a 5. Whoo, double 09 for Dave. And a 17 light for Greg Kelly. He's out in round one. All right, another good battle. Here we go. A couple of uh, S10 pickup trucks. And James Larrow, boy, I'll tell you, his last pass last night uh, who was on the target right there. Let's see if he can uh, do something here with Taylor Nobile coming up right side here with her Tony Iacono built car or truck. One five times out there in the division. Larrow sometimes has a problem running the number, but let's see if he's got things figured out. Can he get there first? Yeah, but he broke out more in a double breakout. She'll run an 86 with a zero for the win. He'll go 81 with a four and gets the L. 23 light for Laro, 59 light right there for Taylor. I don't think she ate her Wheaties this morning, huh? Hi, Carly Wolf. Boy, had nothing but problems here this weekend. Hoping to get Everything together right here, taking on John Payone. A little 63 Chevy Nova with the 427. This is going to be a good race. Ugh. She's struggling on the light. Yeah, she's never going to get there now. Payone's way too far ahead, and he'll run 11 12 with a double 02 light. Carly having problems right there at the eighth mile, or the 330 anyway. All right, so phew, tough luck for Carly here this weekend. Johnny Payone, no, phew, looking good. 002 on the light and uh, continues. All right, Keith Mayer's the brand new car. Check out this little ride. It's so sweet. A little stretched out. Uh, Rear end, he stretched the rear on it, he stretched the front end, put some uh, about six or seven inches of metal up there right in front of the cowl there, and uh, made the car longer. Got a big block Chevy, 500 inches in there, and uh, this is the new car. It's awful. Nice. <laughs> awful nice. <laughs> I like it, I'll tell you the truth. All right, an Alfa Romeo race car. Yeah, at the drag strip, let alone. All right, Steve Tax is over there, 67 Camaro. He's got the 427 in that thing. Oh boy, the lights are darn close right here.
Going to be a struggle at the finish line. Who's going to get there first? Ho oh, ho, left lane pulled it out. How about Keith Mayers? 92 with a four with a 25 light. 22 light out there for taxes. He runs a 1095 with a zero. So uh, Keith ran closer to the number and will be the winner. Here's Don Bergeese. Racing old time, long time friend Bob Kirk out here. Kirk from Atco and Dom from Williamstown. Williamstown. Oh, it's a red light for Bob Kirk by 3,000. Bergeese with the triumph. Super 001 light. Let's see. Oh, oh how about a 3,000 package out there for Dominic? Oh, baby. He ain't playing around out there. 001 dead on with a two. Dominic Bergeese smacking him hard with a three pack. Hi, right, here's Gary Pritchett driving the uh, Hoops Fire and Safety Nova of Jeff Eastburn. John Maggs out there right side with his Camaro. Red light start by 15,000. Put Pritchett into round two, the man from Indiana. 47 on the light. It's going to be lucky, but it's going to be a win. Running under an 87 with a five. Johnny Maggs with a 15 red goes 89-2. Under also. But he's going to have to park it. Ah, that'll bring up Kelly Barbado here, left lane, and uh, she'll take on Mike Epricht in the Monte Carlo, coming out of Harleysville, Pennsylvania. All right, here we go at the stripe. Ho, oh, ho, left lane pulled it out at the end right there. Running 100, run 151. 1093 with a zero, 23 light. Mike was a little better on the light. 17 light, ran a 94 with a nine. It was 13,000s going to Kelly Barbado. Here's Joe Lombardo. Staten Island, New York's got that Pontiac going on. <laughs> yeah, they love their Pontiacs. All right, Ryan Roberts here from Seaford, New York here, and uh, he's got the 68 Nova. Oh, boy, kind of late out there, Lombardo. I don't know if you can save this one. Ryan Roberts smacked you good. On the light, runs 11.02 for the win. Left lane, 11.98, or 10.98, I'm sorry, 151 for Lombardo. Lost by over a tenth. How about a 160 light right there? Roberts was 009. So a big tenth and a half advantage going to the Nova. All right, let's get Super Comp up to the lanes, please. Super Comp. Do a little drag and uh, do a little drag. <laughs> Make a little glue. <laughs> Get down today. <laughs> Something like that, right? Hey, I can sing.
Congratulations to Edith Decker, your number one qualifier in Motorcycle ET. Good job, Edith. All right, the junior dragster and the motorcycle ladders are on the board in front of the uh, lanes on the down side. You can go check them out right there if you'd like. Here we go, stock eliminator. Oh boy, Carl Suwick in trouble right here, left lane on the iStock automatic car. But he'll get the win, what a surprise. He had 252 reaction time to a 15. And then ran a half a second off and gets the win by 1.2 seconds. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Tough break there for Ray Minich, the factory stock D car. The Challenger just didn't get it together right there. It was two seconds slow. Had a great 15 life, but uh, to no avail. All right, here's your next pair, Jim Farrell, the H stock automatic Camaro, and he'll take on Mike Lombardo. Red light for Farrell by a thousandth of a second. Lombardo, your winner, and he'll run under by 10 thou with a 003 light for the win. All right, once again, we need Super Comp right now to the lanes. Bring it up. Don't be late. Super Comp right now to the lanes. And Super Stock, stand by. You're next. Hi, Russ Linky, Bubba out here running B Stock Automatic, 1052 the dial under. He'll take on Matt Barrault out of Quebec, Canada. G Stock Automatic car dialed under to an 1115. Of course, you're allowed to dial under your class index. Makes it easier to drive out there knowing where you're at, of course. And Bubba on the dial with a three. How about that? Ooh, yeah. Right lane got there first, but he broke out. By 21 thou, took a 19 stripe. He was 54 on the light. Bubba was 49 on the light, and then dead three. So he couldn't have made it if he tried with that light. All right, Bubba Linky into round two. Here's your next pair, Allison Dahl, the former world champion out here left lane with a 10-18 in B-Stock Automatic, taking on John Novak's Nova out of Lambertville, New Jersey, here with the uh, 69 Chevrolet. Red light starts for him. Oh, Allison with a beautiful 008 light. She's going to flex her muscles. She loves it at this track. On the dial with a seven, having a 15,000s package. Ho oh, ho. All right, next up, Kenny Robinson. He's dialed left lane at a 1079. Right about at the record, actually. <laughs> Mark Howes, East Stock Automatic, going with the 1065 on the board. In the duster. Win light left lane, Kenny, two over at 1081, winning by 23 thousandths. Had him on the light, 59 to an 82. About two hundredths. Just about to the same amount right there. They both go uh, two over with a two. So it was the uh, whole shot, 23 thou whole shot that paid off at the stripe. Here's Sean Conway, N stock automatic, and Billy Harper, the D stock automatic. Chevy Nova, coming out of Massachusetts. Conway's wagon from New Jersey. New Jersey. All right, keep first here, left lane. Oh, a big red slide and a big wheel stand. Whoo, that thing was standing up out there. 
but a big 128 red light's going to take away the win, and it'll be a left lane victory. 12.32 on a 12.18. So 14 over with a 33 light. Hi, Ryan Horensky. Who he was in the one second club, all right. <laughs> yes, he was. How about this uh, A stock automatic Shelby? 68 Shelby, 428. Dialed under right here to a 1002. Put it in the nines. Put the front end up pretty good right there, too. He's up against Scott Underhill from Nova Scotia. Out there with the T37 Pontiac 455. It's a double breakout win right there for Ryan. He'll go under by a thousandth. Right side under by 22. Took a 24 stripe. So Ryan Horensky, just a thousand thunder, gets the win. Let's go. We need those super comps here. Last call to the lanes for you. All right, Gary Walters. Here we go. The little 327 Nova. SS car here, 1091 the dial, and F-Stock Automatic taking on Dominic Desjardins, A-Stock Automatic Camaro, dialed under to a 1050. Oh, man, have a little bit of tire spin out there for that car, but he's driving it good. Put up a nice double O light. Can he get there first and get the win? Yes, he will on the dial with a six. How about an eighth out package right there, driving through the tire spin a little bit. I guess a new set of tires wouldn't help. I don't know. Couldn't figure out what the uh, problem is with that car. What's he got, a slapper bar in there or something? I don't know. He got the win. Nice little package, too. All right, here's Jim Perrone, G-Stock Automatic Nova right side. He's got the Plymouth Duster of Eldon Baum, the F-Stock Automatic car. Left lane, 1090. Oh, Perrone with a red light by 21,000. Gave it away. Left lane will run two over the dial, 26 light. Eldwan, the winner. All right, little stick shift car, John Bubka. Always love to watch this car go. Just a little basic 327 four speed car running in E stock. Dials under to an 1165 on the, actually, dials right there at the index at 1165. Jim Penta, factory stock C out here in the lane. Red light start for the Camaro from Rhode Island. And he can just sit there and watch that little Chevy 2 run away with it. It'll run a 1275 at 107. Ooh. He's got to be mad at himself. <laughs> Bubka might not be able to run the number today. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Speaking of cookies, I'm getting ready to try one. What do you think? I don't want to get too much of a sugar rush up here, though, early. You know, got to watch my sugar intake anymore. That's the problems about getting old, you know. Because you know what? Once you show up at the doctor, they got you. <laughs> you got this. You got that. You got this. You got that. You got to go to the doctor. You got to do this. Yeah, screw them. Take your pill. Take your pill. <laughs> uh, I know I'll die happy. Let's put it that way. I might die right here sitting here today. Who knows? I pray to God to make sure everything's cool, though. Jack, God will take care of us, right? Here's Jack Mateus, factory stock C in the left lane, 922 the dial uh, under. And that's over a second under. He's in the one second club right there. He's got James Morgan right side in the A stock automatic Shelby. Woo, he's been hooking up good out there, but he breaks out by 2,000's right lane. Doesn't matter. He was late on the light at 115. Mateus, how about that? Going one over the one. Gets him by 35 thou at the stripe. All right, couple 69 Camaros. Here we go. Wayne Totero, H-Stock automatic right side, 1120 dial under. And it'll be Joe Machi. 
Coming out of Ocean, New Jersey, he's got the L stock automatic dialing under to an 11.99. I think Totero was in that one second club. Yeah, maybe. Close to it anyway. All right, trying to sneak up on him. Totero out there. Can he catch him right side? Yeah, but he broke out doing it out by 400. Left lane goes six over. And Joe Machi, the L stock automatic Camaro, will take the win. 12.05 at 101. All right, Ken Kopecki, he certainly was in the one-second club right there yesterday out there with the Dodge 340 Demon. E-Stock automatic car. He's got Rich Prizer dialing under to a 1086 out there with that sweet-looking Mustang. Big Block 68 from Jackson, New Jersey. Red light start for Kopecki. He threw it away right there on the line by just nine thousandths. All right, Rich Prizer. Looking for a 1086, goes 1089 with a 6 at 113. I said to him uh, last night, I said, how come your daughter's not driving? He goes, oh, she's getting out of college right now and just cleaning up all the stuff and coming on home. I said, oh, good. She'll have a nice summer hanging out with you guys. <laughs> he said, you got that right. Always love to see Rich and Olga out there. All right, what we got? Got more cars. Roll them up. Waiting on somebody. Roll it up now, come on, come on. Gotta get a car in All right, problem getting it into the next gear out there for Shane Oaks. He's charging him hard. Can he get there, though? No, he can't. Whoo, boy. It cost him that little hesitation out there at the top of first gear. Shane Oaks had a 64 light. He ran, shoot, close to four tenths off. Right lane was 25 on the light. Ray Bassett, who he handled him out there with that 78 Camaro, the iStock automatic car going to round two by over three tenths at the stripe. Just a little bit of problem can develop into a loss. How straight up that is. Here's John Kurtzenberger, factory stock B. Jerry McNeese, the stick chip 302 car. Oh boy, in D stock. Kurtzenberger dead late out there. Turn around, Jerry. Yeah, you got this one. Two over with a four, 007 on the light. Took him easily by four tenths at the finish line. Whew, a 476 light for Kurtzenberger. Hmm. It's going to be a long ride home to Tennessee. He's got a Division I number from Tennessee. How does that matter? How does that figure out? I don't know. Unless he moved. All right, Richard Boyle, B-Stock Automatic 69 Camaro. He's got Steve Zupka. He was in the one-second club. Boyle might have made it too, I think. 
They'll dial a 1021 out here with that silver Camaro. Oh, a red light start. Whew, Steve Zupka pulled it too soon by just nine thousandths right there and took himself out of the game. Left lane under by four thousand. He saw the red light. Had a 59 light. Richard Boyle. Yeah, he's got to be tickled pink out there. Getting the wind light. All right, another one second. Of, here's two people in the one second club right here. John Wareheim and Jeff Eastburn matching up here in round one. All right, last call for Super Comp. Last call, Super Comp. You should be in the lanes right now. Please make sure the dial-in is on your driver's side window, the left side of the car, because it's hard to see the front when they're uh, coming through the wall with the sun reflection, okay? So please make sure there's a dial-in on the driver's side window or the passenger side window. Oh boy, how about a red light start for John Wareheim by just two thousandths? Jeff Eastburn. How about a triple O light? And he'll run three over with an eight. Woo! baby <laughs> life is good out there for the hoops fire and safety people right there jeff eastburn from elkton maryland going uh, three over with an eight triple o on the light all right here's sal mayo out there with the rhode island base h stock automatic nova taking on tim barrett 69 camaro f stock automatic car dialed under to a 1088 and a red light for the nova by a hundred by a tenth actually shoot what he's gonna say a 100 uh, red light he'll run dead on with a seven to no avail tim barrett your winner with a 174 light and then goes under by 400s. Huh. All right, Steve Smythe out here in the back to stop me. Oh boy, red light starting and uh, huh. Didn't get quite the 60 foot he wanted. Give the win right there to Anthony Pinine, double A stalker, and he'll run one over the dial with a 70 light in the Firebird. Once again, everyone, please put their dial in on the driver's side window so we can see what it is. And make it legible, of course, yeah. How about whoever's running the lanes get a little marking bottle there and uh, do it right there so we know what's happening. Help us out, please. Pat Iacono, K Stock Automatic, Malibu. With a big hole shot over Dennis Chapman. Oh, boy. He's having a hard time leaving with that car. And left lane getting around him. Yes, running at 1219 on an 1197. Right side broke out, did not get there first. He was late. Chapman, a 446 reaction time to an 020. Yeah, he's having some kind of problems with the way that car is leaving, I'll tell you. He almost on the second yellow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. <laughs> when you're that bad. All right, Mike Farrell, E-Stock Automatic, Nick Ryder, the new... Cuda out here in F-Stock Automatic. Dial just about a tenth apart. All right. Oh, double O lights a pair. This going to be the race of the round right here in stock. And the wind light, oh, it's going to go right side two over. Left lane was five over. How about that? Nick Ryder made it happen by 29 thou at the stripe. Double O one and runs two over with an eight of 29 package right there. 
winning by 29. All right, Adam Strang, going to take the right lane. I'd like to get Super Stockers right now up to the lanes, please. Super Stock. Bring it up for round one. All right, Jimmy Roberts out here with the 69 Camaro Convertible, 11 on, 1106, the dial under in G-Stock, the stick shift car. Taking on the 68 Firebird out there from Vermont, Adam Strang. Oh, he's kind of late on the tree. He ain't going to be a threat at the finish line. Left lane got him out there. One over the dial at 11.07. 55 light out there for Robert Strang. Shoo, he was two over also, but a 2.07 light ain't going to hang. Tex Miller, ho, oh, he can't get it done out there. Ooh, Ron Muffet had better numbers there. 17 light goes dead on with a nine, and he'll take the win by 800s out there. Tex was 36 on the light, good light there, but uh, fell off 800s. 700s, I'm sorry. All right, Frank Mayolo, 69 Camaro. He's out here in G-Stock Automatic. He'll take on the K-Stocker, the stick shift Mustang. Robert Constantine coming out of South Amboy with the board. If Ford will leave first, 11.65 to 11.27. Dial under. Woo! Getting them up, getting them red over there, right side for the stick bar by just 23 thou. Frank would have been seventh thou red himself. But on the uh, double red light deal, it is uh, the least infraction. And that will go to Frank Maiola. doing the chasing he's got a long road to hoe right out here can he get there no he can't right lane on the dial with a four how about that a 26 package handling alex simmons he had a 136 light and ran seven over lost by a tenth and eight hundreds so he'll be packing it in All right, Jay Neville, he's been running consistent with this car. Boy, he made three runs within, what, 200s or something like that. Crazy. Especially with the air conditions changing the way they were. He'll go with a 1056 here, left lane with the Challenger, the drag pack car out there from Franklinville, New Jersey. And he'll take on Bobby Fazio, the M-Stock Automatic first-year Mustang. Dialing under to a 12.05. About a second and a half in the handicap right here, going to the flagged up car. All right, the Challenger looking to get ahead at the stripe and can't do it. Whew, right lane, one over with a 967 on the light. Neville had him on the trio, 19, but could not run the number. He was eight over and lost by just 18,000. Looks like the final car here in stock. Kevin Fogarty. All right, once again, we need super stock. Let's go, bring those super stock cars up here right away. All right, Fogarty, G-Stock automatic car. 67 Camaro with a 320 
7, 009 on the light. And he'll run three off the dial at 117. And that'll end round one of Stock Eliminator. Let's go. We need Super Stock. Where you at? Get it up there. Huh. Or pull it back into the trailer. One or the other. All right, here we go, 890 class. Rick Rawlinson left lane from Connecticut. He's taking on Mike McIntyre from Massachusetts right side. And McIntyre with a red light. By 15 thousandths out there, it'll be Rawlinson going two over with a four. All right, here we go. Andre Brown out here with a new car to drive. The Jim Powers car coming out of Texas. He's going to drive this thing here this weekend. And he'll take on Kathleen Smulligan. And that's not going to be an easy race. Let's go. Super stock. Where you at? We're going to run without you. <laughs> Super stock right away. Red light by a thousandth out there for Kathleen Smulligan. Give Andre Brown a spot into round two. And he'll run a 78 with a five. 171. 28 on the light. She'll go 888 with a seven, but uh, went red by just a thousandth. A little bit of luck right there for Andre Brown. Gives him a win in round one here at the Open, sponsored by Micro Strategies. next pair coming up with David Long left lane he had some good runs out there yesterday coming up against Michael Daniels hi long coming from behind right here there yes 891 with a nine beats an 892 with a one by just 12 thousandths he had a 10 thou hole shot The always exciting Donnie Bangs coming up next here in the left lane here with the race deck car. It'll match up with the David Seislick, New Hampshire based machine, 98 dragster. The Atco Auto Services machine. Atco in New Hampshire. <laughs> he goes red though. Give Donnie Bangs the W and he'll run a 91 with a one boy tough break for Dave 890 with a two out there but 20 thou red I right, should be a good match up here with Mike Bodner right side and Tommy Slater here in the left lane. Jersey boys matching up. To see who's going to continue on toward the Wally.
Cut the light, run the number, get the win. Here we go. <laughs> Bodner putting up a triple O light. Can he do it? Yeah, he will. 94 with a four wins it as Slater took a lot of stripe down there. 400s runs under 23 thousandths. So Slater's out, Bodner's in. Right, here's your Lucas Oil representative right here, Jeff Kondratik. Taking on Walter Alt. Going to be another close drag race at the stripe. Wind light goes left lane. How about a breakout out there right side for Walter by just 5,000. Took a 29 stripe and a 19 light. Left lane wins it though for Jeff Kondratik. 11 light, three over with a two. All right, got a lot of pollen upstairs. I think we're going to go do a little dragon right after this pair, possibly. Smoky down there. <laughs> smoky from the pollen, I guess, the green smoke. All right, here we go. Tori Iacono, right side. Up against Kevin Shaw. Big battle. She needs to cut a light right here. Uh, down about 200. Carl run right there. She can make it happen. Will she? No. She breaks out by 12 thousandths. Left lane got there first anyway. 37 light, dead four. Took a six thou stripe right there. Kevin, better on the tree by about two hundreds. And we'll win it. Tommy Stauber left lane, Kenny Moses. This will be a big battle here. Eight time Division I champion, Tommy Stauber is. Woo! Ah. You can see the whole shot there. Tommy out in front. And he'll make it happen easily. 897 with a two, only 156. He was double O eight on the light. Kenny was 88 on the tree. Had him 800s right there at the hit. Hi, Paul Kelly and Doug Dahl. Another big battle here. Doug's been coming down every week for the regular uh, Lucas Oil races and, of course, the uh, Summit Series races also. Making the tow from Massachusetts each time. You should get a garage down here, right? <laughs> Make it easy. All right, here we go. Paul Kelly left side. Doug Dahl. Woo, they're both double O. That car left lane got top end. Can he do it? Ah, he got there first, but he broke out. How about Doug Dahl with an eight thou package? Dead zero with a 008 light. Doug Dahl, whoo, flexing the muscle. Looking strong. Here's Mike Parsons, dragster out of West Long Branch, New Jersey, right side. He'll take on Amanda Boychesko, the undercover car here. And whew, she's got a nice little win streak going here. But anything can happen. That's what drag racing's all about. A 
Amanda's better on the tree. Amanda with the win. Four over with a two. 18 on the light. Right side got there first by seven thou. Broke out by nine thou. Had a 62 light. All right, here we go, Mr. Happy coming out right side. Danny Bisbano in the right lane here from New York. And he'll take on Butchie. Butch with the Miller car here left side. Got his kids here running junior dragster. How about that? So uh, it's a family affair out here. Might start near dead even in this one. And at the stripe, ooh, a double breakout by 10 foul will go to Butch. How about that? 29 life for him. Danny was 28. But uh, Danny got there first by 11 foul, broke out by 10 foul too much. 85 with a 9, 86 with a 9. So Butch ran closer, and we'll get the win. Here's Jack Donnelly right side. He lives right up the street from here. He's going to take on Tommy Oliver. All right. Hey, boy, you hungry? <laughs> Atco's wings, they are legendary. They're on sale today, a dollar a wing. Go get yourself a nice plate of wings. Oh, who doesn't want that? All right, all the super stockers should be in the lanes right now, ready to go for round number one. We're just about down the end here of Super Comp. And we're bringing up the next pair right here, Tommy Oliver and Jack Donnelly. Donnelly, a little tick better on the light, and he will break out by six thousandths more right here in the double breakout. 85 with a seven for Oliver. 85 with a one. Right lane there for Jack Donnelly. He's out in round one. Yeah, still a few pair left, June. Here we go, Jessica Eastburn. Coming out with the hoops, fire, and safety car out here right side from Newark, Delaware. And she'll take on Chase Fonestock. Chase might be chasing here. She gets him on the tree. All right, let's see what happens. Staging very carefully. This is very important right here, round one. All right, Chase knocks the bottom bulb on first. Well, nothing to write home about on reaction times for either drivers. Gonna be close at the stripe wind light. Right side and a double breakout. How about that? Who left lane got there first by 27, broke out by 17. Right side under by just 7,000, so 10,000 difference in the double breakout. Jessica Eastburn, your winner. Who? That was hard fought right there. All right, Tom Oliver here in the left lane coming up against Chris Garretson. start right side by just four thousands four oh, left lane would have been red by three himself but Tom Oliver will pick up the win here running an 891 with a six right lane 891 with a four but red by four so 
for the Quake Car out in round one. All right, Vince Nobile taking on Steve Everett. Ooh, yeah. This is going to be another tough matchup. Hi, right, Steve Everett's got that Ford powered machine over there, right side. And it's a longtime runner here in Supercom. Got a drag race right here, kids. And the wind light goes right side. How about that? Vince was 890 with a three with an 18 light. 21 package, losing by four. Ten thousandths of a second. Closest race of the day in any class so far. Steve Everett by four ten thousandths. He was double oh one, two over with a zero. Whew, 21 package to a 21 package right there. Wow. That's drag racing. Four ten thousands. All right, Mark Dunn, right side. He's got Anthony Barrett here, left lane. Big motor car over here in the left lane for Anthony Barra trying to chase him down. Got the mile an hour. Whoo, he's going to do it, too. 895 beats an 898 by 36 now at the stripe. Give it to Anthony Barrett. like to get super gas cars right now to the lane super gas right now for round one bring it up here's josh eastburn what? all right darren mattern up against josh eastburn we got a race it's gonna be another close one at the stripe wind light goes right side and a double breakout who by 51 thou in the double breakout Darren Mattern was 883 to an 888. Ooh, that was 500 strike right there. And Josh Eastburn will continue in eliminations. All right, want to put uh, top dragster and top sportsman on standby. We'll be calling you next. But right now we need super gas. Right now to the lane, super gas. Start getting those motorcycles ready. We'll be calling you after uh, the top and top cars. All right, Mike Mitchell, right lane. He's got Brian Blitter's door left lane in the shorty drags. Red light start for Mitchell by 12 thousandths. He'll run 11.79 at 89 miles an hour. Just didn't do it out there. Here's Blittersdorf going 8.88 for the win with a 27 light. Hi, here we go with Michael Handris, left lane, Angelo DeTaco. I love that kid. <laughs> Good driver, too, especially in Superstock. See what he can do here in Supercomp with Mike Handris in the left lane. Both from New York, Brooklyn, left lane, Mahopic. I guess that's how you say it, I don't know. 
in the right for Angelo. He just was out on a big trip to Europe, man. It was cool. He sent pictures to everybody out there on FB. Angelo turns the throttle on first out there in the throttle stop war. And he'll get the win at 892.0. Left lane first, 888 with a one, broke out by 19 thou and took a 23 stripe. He was 45 on the light. Angelo had him on the tree with an 029. All right, final car, here we go in Super Cup. It is Kelly Kondratik. All right, little small block in there for power, 406 cubic inch. She's out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And she was one of the uh, top 30 under 30, I believe, or what are they, whatever they call it. 30 under 30. Oh, 11 light. Looking to go 890. 89 with a four right there, getting the win and moving to round two for Kelly Kondratik in the JKR Racing Stables. All right, good stuff. Super stock coming out next. We're going to do a little dragon and uh, who knows what else. Groom the track a little bit and then we'll bring out super stock. Once again, we need super gas to the lanes right now. Let's go super gas cars. Bring them up for round one. And we need top dragster, top sportsman. Stand by, you're getting called next. Are you selling tickets over there? Karen coming out now? All right, looks like we're getting ready for another uh, A Fuel Dragster Pass coming up here shortly. I don't know. They told her she can come up when she's ready, and uh, I wonder if she's ready.
All right, looks like, uh, what, Superstock coming out next. Oh, boy. Get yourself a seat in the stands for this class. All right, here we go. It's Anthony Bon Giovanni left lane, the back of the car. Taking on Doug Linke, the GTL automatic. Formula Firebird. Good race here. Oh, right side going to get him on the dial with a two. Left lane one over with a zero. Boy, the lights are only five thou apart. It was 13 thou at the stripe. Give it to Doug Linke this time. Whew. Bon Giovanni out in round one. Big surprise there. Had a good package. <laughs> How about a what? 45 package losing by 13 thou. All right, Steve Hurley, Super N Automatic, old Chevy Bel Air. 55 Bel Air, 265. That's the original motor they had, the V8. The only V8 they had back then for Chevrolet. Pat Glade coming out here with his GTH automatic in the win on a red light start. Hurley going 21 thousandths on the red light there with the Maryland based Chevrolet. He'll run six off the dial. Left lane goes five under with a 70 light. That's your winner, Pat Glade. Next pair, Scott Giordano taking on the John Canada 85 Mustang, big block 428 car. And Giordano GTI automatic in the Camaro. Just can't get there. Who is seventh thou at the stripe? Left lane was four over, right side was two over. Who, but the light was the difference there. 36 light left lane for Canada. Giordano was 063. He's out in round one. By just seven thou. All right, here's Jock Blaze, the GTI automatic Cobra Ford. Big 460 in that thing. He's got Marty Reinhardt, Super E automatic, 69, 396 Camaro. Dial number 976. Problem shifted in a second. He'll not be able to get to the stripe like that. Uh-uh. Jock Blaze will get him down there at 1013 on a 1005. 30 light for him. Marty was not there, not bad. At 039, but uh, it wouldn't shift.
All right, got him hooked up. We're towing him off. He's probably got some problems out there. More than probably. Definitely. Johnny Simbeck, battle winner. See some power in these two cars right here. A couple of mid-eight seconds, super stockers. And those small blocks will be screaming down the track. Oh, boy. <laughs> Love the sound of those high winding motors. What we got? All righty, here we got 68 degrees, 42% humidity, not much wind, well, well, a little bit more than it's showing here. Uh, water grains are at 42, and we've got the density altitude 801, 801 for the density altitude right now, above. Oh. You want a cookie? Check these cookies out. They're homemade. Go grab one. Sure. Anything for you, Donna. All right, we got some ladders here. Let's see. Super Street, Stock Eliminator, and uh, who else? Super Comp ladders. Got them right here in the tower. Doug Dahl, Mike Bodner, Steve Everett, Jeff Eastburn here in Super Comp, and Don Bags, Tom Stalba. Butchie taking on Rollinson, David Long, and Josh Eastburn. I think 147 is the number. And Iggy Boy, Amanda Boychesco and Brown, Andre Brown, Angelo, and Blitterstorf. Tom Oliver and Kondratic, Kondratic and... Oliver. <laughs> yeah, okay. Woo, this is you go. Boy, big hole shot going to the modified Valiant left lane. By a good 600, it'll be enough. He'll go on the dial with a two, taking 900 down there. Oh, he wasn't worried. Richard K. With a convincing win right there. Can't say he was looking over. Or looking back, I should say. Huh? How about that? But he won it. All right, here's Bill Marshall, the GTG automatic car, the Camaro left lane. He's got the Hemi car. Eldon Baum with the Hemi Dodge Dart. 8.45 dial right side, 9.62 over a second in the handicap. Listen to that Hemi go. He's going to have to make up a couple hundreds right here. Can he pull it off? Ah, he got there first by three thou, but he broke out by four thou. Ooh, tough break. One over with an 835 light. Bill Marshall handled him out there barely. Well, he had a 19 thou hole shot right there, and that was just enough. Hi, right, Jeff Roll coming out the left lane in the Ford 428, and he's running factory super stock G. Kenny Shannon, factory super stock G. That was a heads up drag race almost. Well, no, it's not actually. A G left lane and a B right side. It'll go left lane on a big hole shot there. 700s hole shot going to Jeff in super, G, super stock G. Factory super stock G. He'll run, uh, let's see, six over. At 944, right side was three over, but he was late. 114 light to a 42. Hi, right, Carl Martell, GTH Automatic. He's got the Camaro here, left lane, taking on the tough Cuda. 340 Cuda out there, Wendell Howes, in Super I Automatic. Coming all the way from Canada. Got a nice race in two weeks coming up in uh, Canada. It'll give you double grade points, too. At Toronto Motorsports Park on May 19th, 20th, and 21st. Breakout left lane by 10 thousandths. Took a 20 thousand stripe. So Wendell Howes and the Cuda will go on. 
Boy, the lights are real close there. 75 to an 81. Wendell was just a little bit better. All right, here's George Taylor's E-modified. Bruce Ward with the J-Automatic car. 67 Camaro left lane, 69 in the right. Woo, they stood those cars up right side. J-Automatic was up there. George Taylor's E-modified. Better on the light. And we'll get the win. Oh boy, how about a 19,000th package right there? He wasn't scared of it either, boy. He took a tenth and a half at the finish line. He was 13 over right side with a 36 light. George was 005, one over with a four. A tenth and a half at the stripe. What are they doing? All right, here's Eddie Moranian coming out right side with that Corvette. He was in the one-second club. Let's see, he'll dial an 888 right here. Mark Lebrecht coming up with his B truck. Out of Massachusetts, 969. The dial for him, he'll be first. Who that thing left nicely. Moranian down a little bit in reaction time. Can he get around that truck? He can't do it. On the dial with a zero. How about a 12th out pack right there for Mark Lebrecht? Winning by 500. Phew, 12 light, dead zero. Yeah, that's tough out there. All right, all the super gas cars should be in the lanes right now. Here's Gita Jardins coming out of Quebec. St. Bruno, Quebec, here, the machine shop owner in the 67 Camaro running Super E automatic left lane. Charlie Bupka, Super H automatic, even first. On a red light start by 12 thousandths. Bupka runs under, as does Guy Desjardins, but Guy Desjardins will have a green light and will win the race. Under by 19 thou, 17 with a one. Here is your number one qualifier out here, Nick Scardelli. Boy, he made it look easy yesterday, right? GTM automatic out of Little Silver, New Jersey. Ooh, a little 302 in that Merc. And that thing hooks out, too. He was running nines. 1010.03 right here on the dial under. Oh, no. Looked like he did a little bit of wheelie and then spun the tire. Oh, not good right there. Russ Linky out in front. And Russ will easily get the win. Oh, what a tough break right there for Nick. He's running 10.73. Boy, a 159.60 foot. That's not like that car. All right, another one second under car. Here's Jeffrey Lawrence, the engine builder out of New York with the 88 Celine Mustang. 896, the dial under. Oh boy, that's a lot under. It's a 1010 index out there in GTE Automatic. He'll go up against Jerry Noonan right here in this factory super stock app. Big block 427 Camaro, the Copo car. Oh boy, they're both out there with teen lights. This is going to be a battle right there at the stripe. Left lane will win it on the dial with a two for Jeffrey Lawrence. Having an 18,000th package. Ho, ho, ho. That was tough. Right lane broke out by 8th out, took a 12th out straight. Jerry Noonan ran good, too. I'll tell you, he had a 14 light. But he's out on an 8th out breakout. Here comes Jeff Thornton. Taking on the John Haslip Super E car, the stick shift 2015 Mustang 427 machine. Little 327 in the 87 Camaro right here in GTH Automatic for Jeff Thornton. Thornton Brothers, here we go. Oh! Boy, it looks like he let go of the button and got right back on it again, and the car just stopped dead in its tracks right there on the starting line, but he's going to get the win on a breakout. Unbelievable. Right lane broke out by five thousandths. Give the win to Jeff Thornton. Whoo, God is riding with him, all right. Wow. 
Yes, you can turn around and look at it again. I don't believe it either, but it's true. <laughs> How about that? Jeff Thornton. Whew. He was saved right there, ladies and gentlemen. He was saved. Two ninety five light and he goes thirty three second run. It's a winner. Oh man. All right, next up, Bill Kennedy, GTM Automatic. He's got Dean Mowry, GTH Automatic, right side. A couple of Pennsylvania boys right here. The Pontiac left lane, the Avenger Dodge over there, right side. Mopar doing the chasing. And it's a red light start for Dean Mowry, right side by 34th out. Give the win to Bill Kennedy. On the dial with a six and a 16 light. Ooh, 22 package. All right, Shane Oaks, he's got the Formula WS6 car. All right, top dragster, top sportsman right now to the lanes. Bring him up, please. Top sportsman, top dragster. All right, Bob Cup, even first out there with the 65 Malibu. 327 car coming out of Virginia, Super K Automatic. But he breaks out a big 600s right there. Took just about 600s on the stripe. Left lane, one over with a two, 44 on the light. Shane Oaks will go on. All right, top drags your top sports and bring them up. Let's go. Keep the show moving along the way it should. All right, here's Angelo to Taco out here with the Firebird. Won a lot of rounds. What was it, about eight or ten years ago? Oh, he left behind and just didn't have it together right there. Rolled forward. He should be leaving first. He's second. And right lane wins it three over the dial. Angelo, a second off right there. Not doing good in Superstar. Out in round one. Hi, right, here we go. The C modified Corvette. Oh boy, I just miss these cars from the old days. Little small block, high winding motor with a Doug Nash five speed. Mm. They were so much fun to watch and listen to. All right, here we go, dial 892. SpongeBob, I think he was in the one second club too. He, no, I'm sorry. Car's looking good out there though, and he's got a huge hole shot on John Agnetta, who went to sleep on the starting line. To, ha, Corvette can't run the number. Give the win to Agnetta, surprise, surprise. 21 light for SpongeBob, 239 reaction time right there for the Firebird, but he'll get the win, one over the dial by 49 foul. All right, the Wally Clark car has been driving good, huh, boy? Another big wheel stand and uh, problems left lane, only a 224, 60 foot for Dwayne Iskant in the Mustang. Wally Clark handles them easily out there at 118 miles an hour, winning by over two seconds. All right, another modified car here, the A modified car, Jeff Tripp. Eight seventy six dial under. He's got Jamie Shonley, the GTQ automatic. It's going to be a two second spot coming up right here, going. With the Maverick 289 car leaving first. You should be able to chase him down. Can the Monte Carlo get there first? And no, left lane got there first, but broke out by 19,000, took a 9,000 stripe. 
Give the win to Jeff Tripp. He was better on the light by three hundredths and ran two over the dial with a zero. That's going to be your winner, and I believe that's the end of Super Stock. Jeff Tripp sealing the deal right there with the Mark Osterby car. All right, had to change my battery out there. Let's see if I can make the trash can this time. Ugh, another failure. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible, I tell you, terrible. I did it right-handed, and I'm left-handed, so. <laughs> That's the excuse. All right, what do we got? Ooh, we got Karen Stalba coming out with the A-Fuel car. Hey, yeah. Well, if you weren't here yesterday, this is the car that went the fastest out there <laughs> by a bunch. Made the no most noise. Looked the coolest. All right, so let's see what we got. Super gas back there. No need to get in the car and suit it up yet. We uh, are going to run the A-Fuel Dragster, and then we're going to do a little bit of track prep out there. After that, and then we'll signal you to suit up in super gas, and we'll run your class after that. All right? Hey, don't forget, dollar wings today. Oh, boy. I know if you're hungry, get a little plate of wings, and you'll be happy, happy, happy. I looked at them last night. Oh, who was it? Jeff Eastburn ordered some in the bar. Oh, boy, they looked really good. What's up? <laughs> yeah, one dollar wings. Oh boy. Thinking about it, I'm getting hungry here. What the heck time is it? <laughs> I think about food when I think about time. What time is it? Oh, eleven thirty. Getting on lunchtime already. How about that? Wind's picking up a little bit out there, coming from the east or from the west, I should say. All right, here we go, firing up the nitro car. You're going to want to take a look at this. Come get yourself a seat. We made a couple of great runs last time. Whew, yesterday made a eh, pretty much a good checkout pass and then came out and ran, what was it, a 539 at 270. I think she's going to make like a half pass right here today. Just playing with some stuff, getting it all sorted out. The car's definitely a contender. All right, hold your ears. Boy, not much of a burn out there. We can get reverse right here. Is she going to shut it off? Oh, there she goes. Good enough. All right. I guess the uh, minimal burnout will suffice. Back there pulling on uh, 
intake tabs, I guess. <laughs> All right, say roll it on through. Check the wheelie bar, we're good to go. All right, here we go. Supposedly gonna make a half a pass. In the A fuel dragster. This is nitromethane right here without the blower. Guess it felt good enough to go more than that. How about a 970 on the 60 foot? She was 366 at the eighth mile, 220 miles an hour at half track. And then 1,000 foot of 466, still went a 569 at 203 off the throttle upstairs. But a 970 for the 60 foot time and 251 with a four at the 330. 366, one at the eighth at 220.66. Sound didn't look good to me. All right, going to do a little bit of track prep right here with the... Uh, all right, going to drag around the tree, and uh, I think we'll be good to go after that. I thought it was going to be a little bit, a little bit more, but uh, no. So you can suit them up right there in Super Gas. And once again, I'm calling Top Dragster, Top Sportsman, right now to the lanes. Let's go. Top Dragster, Top Sportsman. And we need Motorcycle ET to stand by. We'll be calling you shortly. All right. Well, they said it was going to be a half pass, but it turned out to be a thousand foot pass. So, uh, hey, she did what she was supposed to do out there. Just checking things out, making sure everything's good. It was motivating down there. Oh, yes, it was. I just did. I'll do it again. Top dragster, top sportsman. Let's go. Bring them up right now. Let's go. We don't have a whole lot of super gas cars, so... Uh, we don't want those lanes getting empty, so get them up there right now. Super, excuse me, top dragster, top sportsman, and motorcycle ET standby. We'll be calling you very shortly. And, of course, right after the bikes, the junior dragsters will be out. So get those cars ready, too, starting with the six- to nine-year-olds. All right, good looking run out there for Karen. Did what she was supposed to do. Here we go, Super Gas round number one right here of eliminations today at the Micro Strategies National Open here at Echo Dragway. Don't forget, if you're ready for lunch, hey, swing over to the bar. Get yourself, get yourself some lunch over there at the bar. You can order it right there from your bar stool, and they'll bring over those dollar wings right there in a nice little bucket for you. Oh, boy. My mouth is starting to water thinking about it. Oh, yeah. Here's Robert Hyatt's super gas car out of New Hampshire. Oh, boy. Taking on the Hank Smith Camaro Roadster. Oh, it's going to go right lane by 20 thousandths. How about that? Three over with a four. Left lane was six over with a seven. Double O three light for Hyatt left lane, but a 16 light wins it over there for Hank Smith. With a 50 package, <laughs> winning by 20,000. All right, next up, Iggy Boychesco in the Corvette Roadster here from Pennsylvania. He'll take on Mark Marsico out of Williamstown, New Jersey, left lane. A couple of Corvette Roadsters getting ready to rock and roll. Red light start for Iggy. 
put Mark Marcicco into round two. And he'll run a 992 with a seven. Hey, come on in. All right, boy, Iggy, how about a 990 with a three? But he's out on a red light. Oh boy, Keister getting the win. Oh, he was terrible on the trio, 106 light, but he ran closer to the number, winning by 29,000, taking out Rich Price right there with the Chevrolet powered Corvette. Whew, Keister, 106 on the light, 94 with a six, good enough. All right, Jason Agnostis here in the Pontiac Grand Am left lane. Out of New Jersey, taking on Bob Phillips here with the Dodge. Red light by a thousandth. Bob Phillips gave it away there, barely. So Jason, 010 light, he'll break out big. How about an 86 with a four? Tough break there. Phillips was 91 with a zero, but he's out. right there for James Alston up against Don Miller in the Camaro Roadster. Whew, this is going to be a tough one at the stripe. Give the win. Left lane. He was closer to the number. 98 with an 8 beats a 10-01. Shoo, had the light too. 26 to a 35. Alston is out. Put Don Miller in. All right, a couple of a tough customers out here in the super gas ranks. Here we go with Tom Goldman, the home built 58 Corvette. That's a beautiful work of art too. You should see the little thing he built to get into the car. You think, how's he, the doors don't work there. How's he gonna get in there? He's got this little hydraulic thing. He pushes a button and this little step comes out of the side on the bottom. Did you see it? It's awesome. It's a little, like a, like a motorcycle peg comes popping out of the body and he uses that to get into the car. It's cool. It's like nobody else would come up with that. Oh, but he rolled through the beam and gave up the win right there to George Smith. Well, that's a heartbreaker. He wouldn't even get a time out there left lane. George Smith will win it. All right, here's Max Starks out of Massachusetts in the Corvette Roadster left lane. He's got the uh, 63 vet Roadster. Nick Daniels coming out of Westchester, PA. Oh, Nick put a light on him out there. White car with the jump. But he'll break out big time. Whoo, 969 with a zero. Took almost three tenths at the finish line. Give Max Starks the win. 995 with a nine. All right, the bar is open down there. Boy, that means uh, dollar wings. You got the lunch and everything. Ho, ho, ho. That goes so good to you guys. I'll tell you. You don't know how good you have it here. That goes your home away from home, kids. That's right. Here's Joe Gallucci left lane, the Corvette Roadster, up against Oscar Rolt with his Corvette Roadster. The 03 model taking on the 63 model here, left lane. Good, I haven't had one yet. 
All right, win lane. Oh, it'll go to Oscar Holt right there. 92 to 4. Left lane got there first. Woo, broke out a bundle out there. How about 62 thou on the breakout? He was down a bunch too, though. He was down about 800 in uh, reaction time. 91 light to Oscar's 017. Oscar handles him. Here comes Johnny Asta. Boy, I'll tell you what, in qualifying, he looked real good. Let's see if he does anything here in round one. Can't say you might. Who knows? I don't know. Here we go. Steve DeSantis out there with the 70 Camaro. He's been tough with that uh, big block car out of the Cape in Massachusetts, West Dennis. All right, better light by 300s. Going to the Pontiac right side. He runs big mile an hour with that car. Watch him go. He'll get the win right there. 161 miles an hour. He was off the throttle. 998 with a 5. Left lane a 1005 at 155. 33 life for Asta. 64 life for Steve DeSantis. And it will be John Asta, your winner. All right. Almost out of cars. Top dragster. Final call to the lanes. Top sportsman. Final call to the lanes. We need Motorcycle ET right behind the top sportsman here on the tower side. Let's go. Bring it up. Motorcycle ET right now to the lanes. And Junior Dragster, 6 to 9. Stand by. I'll be calling you probably within 3 to 5 minutes. Sorry, we got a couple more super gas. How about that? All right, Bill Trum, left lane, Kenny Bowers out there with the 57 vet roadster. Are killer. How about Kenny Bowers? Triple O on the light breaks out by 10th out. Took a 33 strike. Give the win to Bill Trum, though. How about a 23 package? That's going to win it. Double O three. Two over with a zero. Boy, Kenny was triple O and then broke out 10th out. What a heartbreaker. All right, here we go to Byron here in Super Gas. Jake Barbado. And we'll bring out the top dragster cars. All right, nice 11 light out there for Jake Barbado. Looking to go 990. Goes 87 with an 8.
All right, absolutely last call, Top Dragster. Absolutely last call, Top Sportsman. We need you right now. We need Motorcycle ET right now to the lanes, right behind the Top Sportsman cars. Let's go. All right, coming out with Top Dragster next. Here we go, round one. Motorcycle should be over on the tower side right now, lined up, ready to go. Motorcycle ET. If you're not, get there now. We've got short fields in Top Dragster and Top Sportsman. All right, we're done with a little bit of grooming, rolling up the top dragsters right here for round number one of eliminations. What do we got, Albert? Top dragster. Let's see, Marty Jones, Frank Genovese, Jewel Schimmlinger, Chris Mattern, John Nobile, and Carl Stevenson, Greg Kelly, and Ron Hyatt, Jay Smith, and Steve Everett, Joey D, and Jim Dunn. That's the pairing. All right, let's see. We had one, two, three, four, five, four. Over 200 mile an hour. And here we go. Carl Stevenson, right side. The supercharged car. He's taking on John Nobile. He's got the uh, Pro Charger on that big bad dragster out there. He ran a best of 616 at 230 miles an hour. Whoo wee. That is fat lion. <laughs> you got that right. Nitrous, I thought he had the Pro Charger on that thing.
Yep. John O'Neill's got the Pro Charge out here. 540 inch Chevrolet, the 2021 Miller car. Oh, brand new stuff. He'll dial in hard, too, at 619. Carl Stevenson, 722, so about a one second spot going right lane here to the Roots Blower car. Coming out of Pennsylvania. Of course, Nobile from New York. Here we go, round one, top dragster. A little bit late for Nobile. Can he catch him up there? Yes, he will. On the dial with a zero. Whoo, baby. <laughs> At 225 miles an hour, he took a three-foul stripe out there. Baby, that was close. Three thou at the stripe going to John Nobile. Baby boy on the dial with a zero. I want Tony Iacono as my crew chief. <laughs> you know? I'll tell you, that guy's like the wizard back there. <laughs> Whoo, boy, three thou at the stripe on the dial with a zero. Whoo, who's the man? All right, Jules Schlimli Schil Schlimminger. There we go. <laughs> He'll go with a 635 here, left lane, your number four qualifier. And he's got Chris Mattern over there, right side, 748. He's going to dial it as hard as he can. Ran a 51, a 51, and a 60. But he'll go down three right here to a 748 in the Quay car. Kind of dancing the front wheels out here, left lane, with the big, fast car. Can he do it? He got there first, but broke out. Whew. Should have trusted the car in that one. Chris Matter off a tenth right there at 758-181, but he'll get the win. He was down on reaction time, too. Jules just hogged the line down there and took a tenth in 600s. Hard to lift on those cars when you're going that darn fast. Here's your number one qualifier, Marty Jones, out here going with a 620 dial. He's going to dial it up, actually. Ran a 20, a 36, and then a 611 at 200. But he's got Frank Genovese right side. He's going to go honest out there with a 686. Last call, motorcycle ET to the lanes. We need the junior dragster six to nine right behind the motorcycles. Bring them up right now, Junior, six to nine behind the motorcycles. Red light start for Marty Jones. He's out by fourth foul right there on the start. He'll run one over with a seven. Oh boy. All for naught. Give Frank Janovesi to win, and he is 11 over the dial at 697. Had a 51 light. So Marty Jones, fourth foul red. And then one over with a seven. Oh, what a heartbreaker. All right, once again, six to nine-year-olds right now behind the motorcycles. Bring them up. All the bikes should be up in the lanes. If you're running motorcycle ET today, you should be in the lanes on your bike. I guess we're not going to have any Harleys up there, are we? Who's this guy with the orange suspenders down there? I thought he rode a Harley. Eh, well, I guess he's not racing today. Yeah. All right, Rob Hyatt. Here we go. The dragster right side out of New Hampshire. 761 dial right side. He'll take on Greg Kelly, the Motorsports Innovation dragster here. Dial 637. All right, so over a one second spot coming up here. Good race right here. Oh boy, Greg Kelly on the mark. But he won't get the win, no way. How about 17 Thou the stripe going to Rob Hyatt? 23 light for him, he'll run three over. Greg is off by five. The 17 light, better light. But he's out. All 
All right, looks like a single right here. Jim Dunn not making the call. It'll be a Joey D solo run. Ran a 75, a 74, a 72. He'll go with a 73 right here. And this thing runs to 60 foot in less than a second. Ninety-two on the sixty foot. And I'll run a seventy-four with a three right there, one over the dial. All right, Steve Everett not making the call here. I think he hurt the car. Yesterday. Those twin turbo cars are so temperamental, you know what I'm saying? Oh boy. Something going to go wrong? It will. <laughs> wow. All right, Johnny Smith going to pull up here and uh, dial a 627. I believe final car here in Top Dragster. Top Sportsman coming out next. Suit him up. Let's go. And motorcycle should be in the lanes right behind him, ready to go. Helmets on. If you want to make the run. If you don't, that's okay. We'll run you over. You will burn out across your chest. <laughs> Why not, right? All right, coming out of New York, Johnny Smith. Here we go. Looking for a 627. Goes 640 at 185 off the throttle. Got uh, what? Four pairs right here of uh, top sportsman cars with Brian Connery starting things out here. Left lane, your number two qualifier taking on Greg, the G Man Fisher out here with his Chevrolet, the uh, late model Camaro. go with a six or excuse me a 752 dial Greg Fisher will and Connery's going to chase dialing a 670 his best is a 671 with a nine Connery lost fire, but he got it back on. Motorcycle should be all in the lanes right now. All right, they're telling him to shut it off. It's going to be a single run right here for Greg Fisher. Boy, he's getting the luck today here, right? Getting a single due to breakage. All right, staged up. Here's Greg Fisher. Boy, not sounding good out there at all. But it's going to be a wind light. Tough break right there for Brian Connery. Don't know what happened, but they're going to have to tow him off.
All right, hooking up the tow bar. Here we go. Going to maybe back them up, I'm thinking. Go backwards. Go backwards, not forward. Backwards, please. Backwards. Thank you. There's nobody behind you. Keep backing up. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. <laughs> All right, here we go. I believe our number one qualifier coming out next, and I believe it's going to be a single right here for Bill Janky. We got some big motors sitting right here. How about 745 inches of big block Chevy? Yes, it's big. Billy Jack coming up. Oh, no, he's going to race. That's right. Alex Thompson coming up with the 67 Mustang. This is going to be good. He'll go with a 7 or 680 dial. He's going to put the big number on that window right there. I built Janky with the big Charlie Buck racing engine out of North Carolina. King, North Carolina. It's Ricky Smith territory over there. I've been down to that shop before. In fact, my buddy used to do cylinder heads over there. All right, let's see what we do here. He's got the early style Mustang with the low hood out there. Let's see. I think it's a turbo car, but it doesn't sound like one. Shelby GT500. Alex Thompson, top sportsman car. Coming out of Milford, New Jersey. All right, of course, Bill Jackie, he's spraying that car out there. Going with a 645 dial. He's going to chase. Final call, motorcycles. You should be in the lane with the helmets on. You're next. And we need the six to nines already back there. And we need the uh, 10 and up right behind them to the lanes. Let's go get them up there. All right, couple of good runs. Oh boy, right side just driving right around them. Jackie easily getting them down there. Two over the dial. He took six tenths at the stripe. Oh boy. How about a 647, a 220, and a 21 light? Left lane fell off the ET by a bunch. How about whew, six tenths of a second? All right, so Bill Jackie making that one look easy. Here's Rob Regal. He's going to take on Brian Moody. Coming out of Old Bridge, New Jersey. Left lane down 769. Ronnie out there, the uh, former printer tech. He used to have a big printing company out there, and then now he's got, uh, he builds engines. For all his buddies and top sportsmen and uh, beyond. He'll go with a 680 dial right here with the flamed up uh, 68 Camaro.
Round one, top sportsman, here we are. Red light start, left lane, Ron Regal the winner. Looking for a 680, goes 683 with a nine at 204 miles an hour. Oh boy, that makes his crew chief, Billy Hacker. Real happy. All right, Moody running seven over at 776. Took the stripe by 39, but he was red by 25. All right, looks like that'll do it here for Top Sportsman Motorcycle. Round one coming up next. Followed by the junior dragsters. All right, we're going to need, let's see, Super Street to stand by. We'll be calling you very shortly. Round winners. For round number two. All right, here we go. Coming up, motorcycles. Round one, it's Lawrence Curry left lane here with a 916 dial coming out of Philly. He'll be leaving first here to uh, former track champion John Snyder here, dialed 870 on the old pro stock bike here. They used to belong to Randy Mason down there in uh, Dennisville, New Jersey. <laughs> All right, here we go. Staged up. Oh, it's a red light start for Snyder by 45. Oh, boy, Lawrence with a nice double O2. Green light. Looking for a 916. He'll go 916 with a 5. How about a 7 thou package right there? Oh, boy. Lawrence getting tough. Right, here comes Lawrence's wife, Lakasha, over there, right side dial 943 on the Hayabusa, up against the Harley, baby. Bill Burst, 1211 the dial for the old pushrod bike. She'll go red by 15, put the Harley into round two. For all you Harley fans. All right, he'll run, phew. Three tenths off at 1241. She'll go seven over at 950. But 15,000's red. All right, I'd like to get Super Street round winners right now back to the lanes. Bring it up right now. Round winners only. Super Street to the lanes, please. Right, here we go. Bill McCann getting a win on a Joe P. P. Piazza red light. Right lane two tenths off. Left lane on the dial with a two right there for the uh, Kawasaki wheelie bar bike, but he went red by 52 thousandths. D. Piazza out. Bill McCann will continue. Here's Chris Bastard, his KZ1327 out here, the Kawasaki wheelie bar bike 938 dial. Going to chase on the Walter Snyder machine, the GSXR, coming out of the Villas, New Jersey. 
All right, good close race this time. Left lane will pull it out. How about that? A 10.17 on a 10.0 dial. All right, we need stock eliminator. Stock eliminator round winners right now to the lanes also. Super Street and stock round winners. Bring them up. So Super Street round winners, stock eliminator round winners right now to the lanes. Here we go. The next pair coming up. Mike Sadowski. He'll take on John Snyder here left lane. Snyder Jr. dial 918. 894 right there for another Kawasaki air-cooled machine. All right, Snyder going to leave first, 918 the dial, 894 right side here, the dial for the wheelie bar bike. And another red light for John Snyder. Oh, boy. He's just inflicted with it right there. The win will go to Mike Sadowski. He'll break out by fourth thou. But he'll get the win. Oh, 23 light. Snyder with 16 thousandths red. Here comes Levon Curry right side. We'll see what he can do here. He's got the always tough Van Boyce coming out of the left lane out of Neptune, New Jersey. 847 the dial. Curry going with a 914. All right, once again, we need Super Street round winners, Stock Eliminator round winners. Right now, bring them up. And it'll be Van Boyce, your winner, by seven hundreds at the stripe. Oh, boy. Ran uh, three over the dial, 40 on the light. Levon was 63 on the tree and then ran eight over at just 130 miles an hour. Here's Carl Jones, left lane, 916, leaving first here to Colin Bustard. Hayabusa, left lane, the ZX-14 right side, Kawasaki. Kawasaki got him on a tree down there by a good 400s. Can he make it happen? Yes, he will. He'll run on the dial with an 8. Oh, 19 thou on the package right there getting the win. Let's go. Super Street round winners. Stock Eliminator round winners. Bring them up right now. Let's go. Here comes Scott Jones out of Glassboro here. He's got the Hayabusa taking on the Robert Books ZX Kawasaki, the ZX-14. He's out of Newfield, New Jersey on the big Cowie. Dial the 964. And Jones, the stretched out bike. You can see how stretched out that thing is, the Hayabusa. 896 the dial. Big red light, right side for Jones, seven tenths red. Wave bye-bye. Robert Brooks got him covered out there, one over with a one, a 67 light. It's green, and he's your winner. Cesare Motorsports out there with the uh, 
The RPM shop sponsors this unit right here, right side. Fouled in at 842. He's taking on Robert Willis. Ah, red light for Cesare out there by 7th out. Put Willis and the V-Rod Harley into round two. And he'll go under by 300s. Boy, Derek Cesare, 7,000th red. All right, Chris Jones will roll up here, the brand new uh, 1300 Suzuki. To take on your number one qualifier, Edith Decker over there right side from Linden, New Jersey on the uh, 1000 Suzuki. She'll go with a 942 dial, Jones 1115. I don't see any stock eliminator round winners or Super Street, let's go, get them up there. We're going to run you out whether you're there or not. Edith Decker pushing it hard. She's late on the light. Can she get there? She did, but she broke out more in a double breakout. Left lane out by just eight thousandths. She's out by over a tenth in three hundredths. Whew. Tough break there for Cream. Chris Jones, your winner. All right, Jeff Cesare, where's he at? He didn't make the call right here. Oh, boy. It's going to be a single for Mike Tremblay, it looks like. All right. Tremblay. Running an 894. Five over the dial right there with a 118 light for the win. All right, that'll do it for the motorcycles. Here we go, bringing up the junior dragsters. This is going to be the six to nine-year-old kids right here. Starting things out, we got the uh, 10 and up right behind them. We need round winners. Let's go. It's time to bring them up. Don't think you're going to uh, sneak away. Super Street round winners. Stock Eliminator round winners. Let's go. We need you now. Or uh, huh, just put it back in the trailer and drive home. We don't care. Right, going to start things off with a heads up 1190 race between Cole Payone left lane and Paige Doney here right side. Both dying in 1190. Right here, of course, they race to the eighth mile here in this class, in the junior dragster class, both classes. All right, the heads-up drag race. It's a red light start right side for Paige Doney. Give the win to Cole. 
79 light, and he'll run uh, 12 over at 12.02. Here's Austin. Austin Booker out here, left lane, and he'll go with a 1205 dial, taking on Aaron Frankovic. Twelve oh five left lane, twelve fifteen right side. So we got a tenth in the handicap going right lane. Right, left lane out in front. Can he get there first without breaking out? Austin, no. He broke out by 1100s out there with 1194. Give Aaron the win, though. He was 12 over. Let's go. We need the Super Street Stock Eliminator. Both of you is round winners right now to the lanes. Get them up there. I'm not going to beg. Here's Natalie Olt, right side, 12 12 the dial. Kyler Payone will take the left side this time. Racing for a Wally. Oh, these kids would love to have one. Big time hole shot going left lane by over two and a half tenths. Should be enough if he doesn't break out. It's going to be a winner out there. 1397 with a 27 light. Hoo hoo. Yeah. All right. Natalie was 283 in the tree. She broke out by four. All right. Olivia Torchia next in the left lane here. Dial 1190 up against Christian Handwork. Dial 1219. He'll leave first over there. All right, it's a Christian Handwork red light right there by 112, giving the win to Olivia Torchia out here in the left lane, and she'll run seven over at 1197. Olivia Torchy getting the win. Here's 
Ava Bonatitis. That's Ronnie Bones' granddaughter out there. All right, where's she at? Oh, I don't see her. Looks like it's going to be a single. Caden Payone's going to get the nod right here in the uh, 890. The dial. All right, going to be a single for Caden Payone. He'll get the automatic win. And he'll run seven off at 897. All right, here we go. This is bringing up the Super Pro Junior Dragsters right here. We're going to run through those and then go right into round number two of Super Street and then stock right behind it. Right, here we go, Madison Schomberger. Going to start things off here in the left lane, dialed in at 790, taking on Kenny Landerman. He'll go with a 916 dial over there, right side. All right, I'd like to get Super Comp round winners right now to the lanes, please. Super Comp round winners, bring it up. All right, don't forget, hey, the Winter Circle Lounge is open right now, and we've got a dollar wing special over there. Get the hot wings for a dollar a piece. Oh, boy, and they're good, let me tell you. All right, all staged up. Schonberger, 790. Lannerman dialed the 916. Right side going to leave first. Here we go. Oh, it's a red light start. Right side by 51. Now give the win to Madison. Schonberger with a 28 light. Running under by 700s at 783.
All right, Robert Grant coming out of the right lane. Oh, boy, he's been playing tough out here lately. Went a lot of rounds two races ago. Went down to the semifinal round. And would love to go away here with a Wally. How about that? He's got Emily Stalba left lane dial 790. Grant dialed a 792. Lives down in West Creek, right down neighbors with me. Stalva from down there in Blueberry Country. Nesco, New Jersey. Here we go. Good old race right here. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a tight one down there. Windlight goes right side. How about that? Woo! And a double breakout by three thousandths. 117 light for Grant. He'll run under by 6 thou. Left lane out by 9 thou with a 76 light. Emily took 44 down there. How about Bobby Grant? Woo! Robert Grant getting the win right there by 3 thou in the double breakout over Emily Stalva. Wow. Here's J.J. Schonberger out here. Taking left lane 790. Chris Faraka, track champion out here right now with a 798 dial right side. Big hole shot right side for Chris by over a tenth of a second. But he loses in a double breakout. Oh, wow. J.J. Schomberger, who he was 167 on the light, broke out by 19 thou. Right side was out by 28 thou with a 47 light. Oh, boy, he threw that one away. He took a tenth and almost three hundredths down there at the stripe. J.J. Schomberger. Robbed him. Here's Joey Torchia left lane in 898 dial here to take on Charlie Blittersdorf. He'll go with a 790 at the bottom of the class right there, right side. Oh, just barely a red light right side for Blittersdorf by just five thousandths out there. Gave it away right there. Joey Torchia, your winner, running three over the dial at 901. All right, here we go with Brandon Lee coming out of the left lane here, Don 11.30. First year driver. And taking on the uh, Ryan Schmidt dragster, dialed 790. Ryan Schmidt been driving the dragsters here for a little while. Been getting it together out there, too, I'll tell you. See what happens this time. All right, pretty big hole shot going left lane. Could be an upset right here. Can Brandon Lee pull it off? No, it's a double breakout going right lane to Ryan Schmidt under by uh, just about 500s. 
Left lane out by seven. Boy, the whole shot was big left lane. How about a 31 to a 70 light? But it'll be Ryan Schmidt continuing on. All right, once again, Super Street should be in the lanes round winners. Stock Eliminator should be in the winner in the uh, lanes round winners. We'll be calling Super Comp next, so stem them cars by. Here we go to Gangster Grin coming out of the left lane. Here's Francis Vignola coming out of the Mawa area of North Jersey. Taking on Paul Stalba. Couple 790 cars right here. Stalba 791 right side. And a 796 over there for Vignola. Here we go. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, they're a thousandth apart in reaction time. It's going to be a close race for sure. And it'll go to Stalba. One over with a zero. Left lane broke out by sixth out. Took a 17 stripe. What a close race that was. Paul Stalba will continue on. There is such great camaraderie in this class. I'll tell you what, the parents, the kids, they all love each other. It's awesome. It's what drag racing is supposed to be. Teaching teamwork, teaching uh, sportsmanship above all. Here we go, the next pair, Trevor Ulrich, 792. He's got Emma Aragona out here. 799 dial right lane for Emma. She'd love to win a Wally here today, uh, obviously. Oh, she'll get a win right here. Trevor going red by 21 thou. And she'll run under by four. 795 with a four. Left lane out by just nine thou, but red by 21. Here comes Anthony Magliocco. He's got the new car, the new wrap. Everything's all good here. I can't say it was running good here in the first time shot, or the one and only time shot he's getting. Of course, he was hanging out down there at uh, the streetcar shootout race down there yesterday with his dad driving the uh, 850 index car he has. So they uh, got done down there, came up here. Boom, he's racing today. He goes red right there on the start. By 14 thou, give the win to Zach Rignan with a nice 13 green light right side. And over on 782, boy, he was standing on it out there. How about 780 out there for Anthony? It was going good, too, at 84 miles an hour. All right, here we go, next pair coming out. Gavin Roth, right side, and Olivia Gale over here, dialed an 890. Gavin, 821 dial in the little funny car. <laughs> First one we've seen here at ATCO. Of course, uh, Antron Brown was the one who developed it, actually. I was just sitting up here with his dad. with his uncle who's out there riding in the uh, super comp today. Andre Brown. Ooh, nice light for both drivers right here. Oh boy, it's gonna be a good tight race at the strike this time. And the wind light will go, whoo, and a double breakout is gonna go right lane under by four thousandths. Left lane under by 16 thousandths. 48 light left lane, a 15 light for Gavin Roth, the funny car. Oh boy, going to round two. Here's Mike Ulrich. Taking the uh, 
orange car up to the starting line here left lane dial 790 he'll take on gabriella Bucco with the family fun machine dial to nine flat Gabriella and Mikey, oh yeah. Another good race and good lights out there too. A double breakout again. Right lane. How about Gabriella? Whew. Under by nine foul with a 15 light, winning by 17 foul. A 10 foul difference on the double breakout. Left lane goes under by 19 foul for Mikey Ulrich. He had a 42 light. So Gabriella Bucco advancing. Tacos! Tacos! I want tacos. <laughs> Here we go. Madeline Torchia, left lane 809, and Larissa Oles dialed an 898, right side. All right, 809 left lane, 898 right side. Roll them in. That's right. Don't take too long. There you go. Oh, it's a red light start big time here right side for Larissa. Put the wind light on in Madeline's lane. And she'll run two over the dial at 811. Another good battle coming up here. Mike Chirico Jr. coming out of the right side dial to 795. He'll take on Alphonse Maglioco to the third. He'll go with the 790 dial right here. The Fonz. And the Fonz with a 19 thou red light gave it away. Sharico will win it. Running 791 with an eight. Or 791 with a nine, I should say. Here's Landon Kennedy, left lane. He'll take on Frank Aragona, the third. Here, right side, dial 799. Landon, 896 dial, about a second in the spot. Don't get your feet stuck out there, Papa. <laughs> you got to watch yourself. It's real sticky out there. Going to better on the light by a good 500 and gets the win right there. Five over the dial at 804, winning by 20 thou. Left lane two over the dial, but it was 85 on the light. Give it to little Frankie.
Here's Sean Nardi coming out of the left lane, 795. He'll take on the Zach Gale. Junior dragster over there, right side, 812 dial. Hey, real close there. Double breakout win is going to go to Sean Nardi this time. Ooh, by eight thousandths of the double breakout. He's under by 21. Right side goes under by 29. believe that'll do it right there for Junior Dragsters. Uh, it's going to be Super Street coming out next. Round two of eliminations. Hey, I want to thank everybody for coming out today, having fun at Atco Dragway. Hey, that's what's it all about, you know what I mean? Absolutely. We come down here, we come out to have fun, baby. All right, we're just down here for a few minutes. We got to do some track prep as well as we need the juniors to clear the return road before we send the big cars. So just give us a few minutes here, sit tight, or head on over to the concession stand if you are hungry or thirsty. Now's a great time for lunch. Hot dogs, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, chicken tenders. Uh, we got wings over there this weekend. In addition, you know, French fries, mozzarella sticks, cheese steaks, chicken cheese steaks, our homemade chili here. So plenty of great food available for you at concessions. Head on over there if you are hungry. And if you're thirsty, plenty of water, lemonade, iced tea, Gatorades, Pepsi products, and coffee, hot chocolate, and hot tea if you need that as well. And bags of ice. If you need bags of ice, you can get those at concessions. Head on back to the back of the pits right by the VP Race Fuel sign. There's the uh, Denise, right, Max? Denise back there with the uh, VP Race Fuel setup right next to our speed shop. So plenty of VP race fuel merch as well as VP race fuel on sale at the speed shop. Oil, spare parts, safety items, CO2 and nitrous refills. And the air hose for air for your tires is back at the speed shop as well. And don't forget, oh, the Winter Circle Lounge, the bar is open. If you're 21 years of age and older and you're not racing, or if you're finished up racing for the day, head on over to the Winter Circle Lounge.
All right, here we go. Super Street 1090 Index, round number two, coming into the water box. And as soon as we have 1090s on the board, we'll burn them, burn them, and get to it. All right, Larry Pulver taking on Eddie Bloom. So it looks like after that first round, Pulver comes out the number two qualifier. First uh, round was 1091 with an O. Pretty good on the 1090. Eddie Bloom, the number eight qualifier right now, was 1103, so 139 over the 1090. But hey, this is round number two. And he might have gotten a red light win there in the first round. Might have lifted up a little bit. All right, boat drivers with the power on, headed to the quarter mile. Good reaction times. Wind light gonna go to Eddie Bloom. How about that? 11 thou light, dead zero. 11 pack for Bloom in the right lane. Takes out Pulver. Pulver was good with a 16, but takes five hundredths at the finish line. Breaks out by 56 thou. And it's gonna be Eddie Bloom dead on zero going around three. James Mosier up against Dave Enamo right here. Mosier in the Mustang left side out of Blackwood. Number four qualifier after round one. Ran 1092 with the seven first round. Enamo right side, the number 10 qualifier out of Jameson, Pennsylvania in that 1990 LeBaron. Broke out by a foul in round number one, but saw the wind light. All right, we got green lights from both drivers as one side is a little bit greener. Mosier's power coming on a little bit later there than Enamo. Wind like going to Mosier in a double breakout. Out by 9 Thou gets there first by 25. Looks like Enamo's out by 11. So he sped up by a 10. All right, attention in the pits. Super stock to the lanes to get paired up for round number two. Super stock to the lanes to get paired up for round number two. Once again, super stock. Round winners to the lanes to get paired up for round number two. Ryan Roberts up against Tom Burgess, the Nova versus the Camaro right here. Roberts number seven. Burgess was the number one qualifier after round number one was 1090 with a two. Got a little bit of an advantage here and sees the wind light in another double breakout. Roberts takes fourth out left side, goes out by 39. And Burgess looks out by 26, 87 with a four, wins it by 13 in the double breakout. Was better by nine thou on the tree, 27 with 36. And again, wins it by 13 thou in the double breakout. Don Burgess going on around three. Kelly Barbado out of Bath, Pennsylvania. The 68 Camaro right uh, left side, number six qualifier. Taylor Nobile out of Comac, New York. Right side in that 99 S10. We got green lights both sides here in the female battle. And it's going to go to Barbado with a 15 pack, eight light dead seven at 148 miles per hour. Nobile was about 30 behind on the reaction time with a 37. She ends up three over five at 131 miles per hour. But Barbado, 15 pack, going around three. All right, Gary, Lil Bear Pritchett here, left side out of Avon, Indiana, 1972 Nova. He's taking on Jay Neville from uh, Franklinville in the 1979 Chevrolet Camaro right side. Pritchett, number 11 qualifier after round one, Neville number five. We do have a good drag race here with similar green lights. And the wind light coming on at the quarter mile. Give it to Pritchett. Neville way too fast, takes eight hundredths, breaks out by seven thou. Pritchett dropped him six over nine at 138 miles per hour. And Neville had the light by four thou, 43 to a 47. But Pritchett, six over, Neville's out by seven thou. Takes 80 stripe, too much stripe for Neville. John Payone taking on Keith Mayers here. The Alfa Romeo versus the Box Nova. The Romeo right side for Mayers, number three qualifier. Payone, the Nova left side, the number nine qualifier. All right, pair of green lights and one side much greener here. As they'll head on out to the quarter mile, both uh, cars coming alive there about the 3.30 mark. And wind light on into round three, it's Mayers. Got him on the tree, 23 to a 60. And then Keith ends up four over one. Payone did take the strike by 16 thou, but he's out by 12 thou, 88 with an eight. And Keith Mayers is on to round three 
of Super Street. All right, Stock Eliminator coming up for round number two. And once again, attention in the pits. Super Stock to the lanes. Super Stock winners to the lanes to get paired up for your second round of eliminations. Super Stock winners to the lanes. Get paired up for round number two. Super Gas winners, you're on standby. And you know what? Top and top. You might as well start thinking about getting ready, too. All right, Stock Eliminator pulling into the water box for round number two. And again, Super Stock to the lanes for your second round of eliminations. Super Gas, Top Sportsman, and Top Dragster, you are on standby. All right, Dylan's on the board. Let's go burn them, burn them for round two of Stock Eliminator. Here at the NHRA Northeast Division Micro Strategies National Open, Michael Lombardo and Rich Price are going to kick us off. Lombardo out of Staten Island, home of the Wu-Tang Clan. The number 10 qualifier in Stock Eliminator was 95. So almost a second under his uh, class index, the K Stock Automatic 1990 Camaro. And then the C Stock Automatic 1968 Ford Mustang for Rich Prizer. Number 23 qualifier this weekend in Stock Eliminator. He was five tenths under the class index. His best run looks like was a 1089 with a six. So Lombardo left side gonna dial 1172. Prizer in the right lane gonna dial a 1089. Left side getting a little less than a second head start. And we got green lights. And again, one side a little bit greener here. One driver with a little bit of a reaction time advantage, and the wind light going to go to Prizer. 48 light to Lombardo's 93, so big reaction time advantage, actually. One over seven for Prizer, takes 12 foul, and Lombardo breaks out. He was 1170 with a four on his 1172 dial out by 16. And Prizer's moving on to round number three of Stock Eliminator. Ray Bassett taking on Nick Ryder. Bassett out of Webster, New York, left side. The iStock Automatic 78 Camaro, dials 1154. And the number four qualifier, Nick Ryder, 1968 Plymouth Barracuda. The F-Stock Automatic car dials 1081. Ryder qualified number four, 1.03 seconds under the class index. Number 17 for Bassett. He was seven tenths under his, but he's red as he leaves first. And as we know, it's first or worse. First red light loses, and that was Bassett, 88 red. Nick Ryder was 217 red, but he had the wind light on before he left the starting line. All right, looks like a little bit of mopping going on by Tyler and Johnny there in the right lane. And then we'll go to our next pair, which is Kevin Fogarty taking on John Bubka. Fogarty, the G-Stock Automatic, 1967 Camaro coming out left side. 11.21 dial, qualified number 14, ran eight tenths under his class index. John Bubka, the East stock car, the 1966 Chevy Nova in the right lane. He's dialed 11.65, number 27 qualifier. Looks like he ran a second over his class index. So, looks like Johnny Bubka having a little bit of Trouble out here this weekend, but hey, he's in round number two, sees another win light. He's going to round number three, but got to take out Kevin Fogarty here in round two to do it. And they're both green, but one side much greener here as they head on out to the quarter mile. So we do have a drag race, but on my screen, it's not much of one. And moving on to round number three. Oh no, Fogarty gives it back. Fogarty 57 to Bubka's 213. Bubka one over five, Fogarty's 17 hundredths over, Johnny Bubka by a thou, 19 10 thou, takes the win. Oh man, Fogarty, we might have to check the end of the track for him. Pat Iacono, 1198 dial, the K-Stock Automatic Malibu in the left lane, taking on Eldwin Baum Jr., the F-Stock Automatic, Plymouth Duster right side. And we got a good drag race here, similar green lights coming up for both drivers. Number 12 qualifier right lane, taking on the number 25 qualifier left lane here in the second round. And moving on to round three, it's a breakout for Iacono left side. Goes out by 3,000, takes 1,500th. Way too much top end from Iacono. Balm, though, was not close. 11 13 on the 1099, but hey, when your opponent breaks out and fouls, you don't care. Good reaction time battle there. 30 for Iacono to Balm's 34. 
And Iacono breaks out. Baum doesn't. It's Baum in round three. Frank Mayolo, the G Stock Automatic, 1969 Camaro left side, dials 1132. Taking on Kevin Anderson from New Oxford, Pennsylvania, the H Stock Automatic, 69 Camaro, dials 1114. Nice pair of wheel stands there from the pair of 69 Camaros. Green lights for both drivers to the quarter mile they go. And moving on around three of stock eliminator. It's going to be the left lane. It's a double breakout. Mayolo got there first by 24 and ends up breaking out by a foul. Anderson in the right lane breaks out by 22. So Mayolo wins it by 21 in the double breakout. Mayolo much better on the tree there. 11th foul to Anderson's 56. All right. Dom Desjardins from Chambly, Quebec, up there in Canada, our friends to the north, coming down to have some fun with us here at the National Open. 69 Camaro, the A-Stock automatic car, 1040 dial. Take it on Jerry McNeish out of Eldersburg, Maryland, D-Stock car. And McNeish sees a red light with dial 1056, but Desjardins got the win light as he's 51 green, McNeish is 15 red, and let's see how they do on their dials. They both break out. They are Dan by almost 15 uh, hundredths there. 1025 with a two on the 1040. McNeish is out by 30 thou. 1053 with an O on the 1056. Double foul for McNeish in the right lane. Give the win light to Desjardins on the red from McNeish. All right, Rich Boyle taking on Ken Robinson. B stock automatic versus D stock automatic. The B stock automatic 69 Camaro left side for Boyle. Dials a 1023. Robinson, D-Stock Automatic, 67 Camaro in the right lane, dials at 10.79. And a nice monster wheel stand from Boyle, but he goes red, 78. Robinson with a wind light on, 16 green. Ends up dead on five, 21 pack for Ken Robinson. Boyle was two over O at a buck 29, but 78 red. Kenny Robinson's on to round three of Stock Eliminator. All right, once again, we need super stock to the lanes, super stock to the lanes. To get paired up for round number two, super stock to the lanes, get paired up for round number two. Super gas, top sportsman and top dragster, you're on standby, Joe Mochi. The L Stock Automatic, 69 Camaro left side, that was a 1204. Taking on Ryan Horensky, A Stock Automatic. Shelby Mustang in the right lane, nice wheel stand, and Horensky's got the win late as Mochi left the starting line. Sixteen red for Mochi, and it looks like Jack Mattias is going to be the buy run here, second round of Stock Eliminator. Mattias. Factory Stock C, 2015 Copo Camaro. 920 dial for Mattias. All he's got to do is have the last motion forward to stage the car, and he takes the wind light. All right, we do have some more pairs, though, but he is the true buy of the round, looks like. So Stock Eliminator round two, not over just yet, but the true buy coming out before the end of the round. 60 green, see how he ends up on the 920 dial. And he's going to go 14 over, 934 with a 6. At 126 miles per hour. Ron Muffet up against Sean Conway. Muffet's in the iStock Automatic 1983 Camaro. Dialed 1136. And Sean Conway from Long Valley, New Jersey. And stock automatic 1982 Chevy Malibu wagon. And he's dialed a 1227. Muffet qualified number seven in Stock Eliminator, ran almost a second under that index, 991. And then Conway was a tw number 20 qualifier, ran 67 hundredths under his class index, that ends Stock Automatic. All right, both drivers here with the top bulb lit. Just need them bottom bulbs on and we can have a drag race. Conway getting about a second head start here, and both drivers turning on a green light, so they'll take it to the top end. See who moves on to round three of Stock Eliminator. And that wind light's going to go to Conway in a double breakout. Everybody roots for the wagon here 
at Atco Dragway. 32 late for Conway to Muppet 72. Got down there first by 19 thou, breaks out by 25. Looks like Muffet was out by 46. And Conway will beat him by 21 and move on to round three. Another Camaro battle here. Carl Sewick from Jenkintown, Pennsylvania is left side in the import DPS lane in the iStock automatic 1983 Chevy Camaro. Dialed in 1147. And he's up against James Roberts, the G-Stock 69 Camaro, the convertible out of Portsmouth, Rhode Island. And right side, Robert's going to dial 11.06. So left side going to take about a four-tenths head start here. All right, see we can Roberts. Away on green lights to the quarter mile they go. And moving on into round number three, it's going to be Roberts. 23 like to Seawix 37. Seawix uh, takes 49 thou, almost 500 at the finish line. Breaks out there by 41 thou. 1142 with a nine on the 1147 dial. Roberts runs two over the 1106, 1108 with a two. And it's gonna be James Roberts with the wind light in round three. Jeff Eastburn, F stock automatic, 69 Camaro left side. Dials at 1092, taking on Anthony Penin. Double A stock. And Eastburn, yes, that's right, 23 red. Panine, right side in the Firebird, has the wind light on. 39 green light for him. And runs dead on four. Nice, uh, looks like 43 total for Panine. And a double foul for Eastburn goes out of the 1092 dial. It's 23 red for Eastburn. And out of the 92 dial there by 28 thou. Russ Linky, Bubba Linky left side out of Old Bridge. 1997 Chevy Camaro, the B stock automatic car dials 1052. Taking on Tim Barrett from Fort and New York, F stock automatic. 1969 Camaro right side dials 1086. And we got a good drag race here between Bubba and Tim as they take it to the quarter mile. Chevy Camaro battle and wind light on here for Barrett in the right lane and a double breakout and just by three thou. Barrett's out by three. Linky looks like out by six. Actually, they're both out by 3,000. So that one at the tree. Barrett a 30. Linky a 33. There's your 3,000 margin for Barrett. He'll move on to round number three of Stock Eliminator. That's a lot of threes. Allison Dahl, Bobby Fazio. Your next matchup here as we wind down in the second round of Stock. Dahl, the B Stock Automatic, Porta Tree, 1998. Pontiac Firebird in the left lane. Dials in second round at a 1019. Bobby Fazio, M stock automatic, 64 Ford Mustang in the right lane. And he's going to dial second round at 1208. So about a two second head start for the Mustang over the Firebird. All right, another pair of green lights. Nice wheel stand from Allison as she heads on out in the left lane. On the chase, trying to run down Bobby Fazio. Can she get around him? And the wind light here, nope, to Fazio. 18 light to Dahl's 38. Bobby goes dead on two at 101 miles per hour. Dahl, though, dead on zero. What a great drag race right there. And it goes to Fazio with the whole shot by 18 thou. And looks like that'll do it for round two. That was the last pair in round two of Stock Eliminator. We got round two of Super Comp 890 Index coming at you next. All right, attention in the pits. Super guess winners to the lanes to get paired up for your second round of elimination. Super guess round winners to the staging lanes to get paired up for your second round of eliminations. Top sportsmen and top dragster winners, get ready. You're going to be called shortly for your second round. Once again, attention in the pits. Super gas round winners to the lanes to get paired up for second round of eliminations. Top dragster and top sportsman winners, stand by. Get ready. You'll be called shortly, and it's going to be coming at you quick.
All right, here we go. Round number two, Super Comp 890 Index. First pair on the starting line, Anthony Barrett up against Kevin Scholl. Show right side hails from Eagleville, Pennsylvania, driving a 1995 SW Dragster. Number two qualifier after round one was dead on four, first run. And Barrett, the number 12 qualifier in the left lane from Bayville, New York, in a 2015 Miller Dragster. First round was 95 with a five, so 55 over that 890 class index. Here we go. As Barrett lights the top lamp, courtesy staging in effect. Joel's going to have to do some work out here if he wants to see a win light. And nope, can't do it. 25 pack for Barrett. Six light, one over nine at 174 miles per hour. Joel was late with a 40, ends up four over eight at uh, buck 61. Anthony Barrett going on around three of Super Comp. Good 25 pack here in round two. Once again, attention in the pits. Let's go. Super Gas round winners to the lanes to get paired up for second round. Super Gas round winners to the lanes to get paired up for your second round. Tom Oliver up against Kelly Kondratik here. Oliver left side from Shavertown, Pennsylvania. 2000 Dragster, the number four qualifier after a first round, 891 with a six. Kelly Kondratik from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania's right side in the 1994 Dragster. And she broke out first round. So gave, give her the number 14 qualifying spot. She was out by six thou. Let's saw the win light. Here we go. Round number two action between Tom Oliver and Kelly Kondratik right now. There they go. And this one's probably already done. Give the win light here to Tom Oliver. 38 light. Kondratik missed it. She was 203. Oliver 5 over 8. Kondratik 8 over 2. And Oliver takes the win by 1800 it's almost two tenths right there it's like two car lengths all right thomas oliver from old bridge the 04 dragster left side number 19 qualifier after round one was out by 43 thou in the first round taking on jeff kondratik the number nine qualifier in the right lane ran three over two after the first round and again another one another repair here oh somebody's sleeping Kondratik, 9,000 green to Oliver's 458 light. All right, your next pair up here, Tom Stauba out of Hamilton. Double A auto salvage car left side, the 2010 undercover dragster. He's taking on Don Bangs or Donald Bangs from Southampton, Pennsylvania. The O2 Race Tech Dragster. The number three qualifier after round one ran a 91 with a one. Staba qualified number 13 after round one was 97 with a two. All right, good drag race here between Staba and Bangs. And the wind light here gonna go to Staba. Three over two, Bangs five over one. Tommy had him on the tree by six thou as well. Seven to a 13. His margin is 25 thou, and he's on a round three of Super Comp. All right, your next matchup here in round number two of Super Comp, Brian Blitter taking on Angelo DeTaco. Blitter is left side. All right, Blittersdorf out of West Grove, Pennsylvania. The 1997 ARC race cars dragster. Yeah, that's a shorter wheelbase car in the left lane. Don't see that too often. And you got Angelo DeTaco, 2010 Mullis tracks to right side. Blittersdorf, 7th out, red light in the left lane. He's out. DeTaco, good 5th out light. Let's see how he goes on the 890. Breaks out by 37, 86 with a 3. Blittersdorf, good 1 over 3, but was 7th out red. All right, Butchie Booker taking on Rick Rollinson. Booker's left side out of Howell, New Jersey. 2003 Miller Dragster, qualified number 18 after round one. Broke out by 31 thou in the first round. And Rick Rollinson from Orange, Connecticut. The 2006 Warrior Dragster in the right lane. The number eight qualifier after the first round. Ran two over four. All right, boot drivers in, here we go. All right, good race here between them as they got similar green lights. Looks like Booker's power coming on a little bit later. 
And the win light and a double breakout goes to Butch in the left lane. He's out by seven thou. Rollinson gets there first by six hundredths, but breaks out by 59. And Booker will win it by 52 in the double breakout. And was actually behind on the tree. Rollinson had the light, 24 to a 32. Needed to uh, get on the brakes there or get off the throttle. One of the two doesn't do it. And it's Booker in the double breakout in round three. Doug Dahl out of Douglas, Massachusetts. 2009 Red Dragster left side, the Lightning car. The number one qualifier dead on zero in the first round left side. Taking on Mike Bodner out of Kendall Park, New Jersey. 2006 undercover dragster in the right lane. And he qualified number 11 after round one. He was 894 with a four in the first round of eliminations. And once again, attention in the pits. We need super gas winners to the lanes to get paired up for round number two. Super gas winners to the lanes to get paired up for round number two. Top sportsman and top dragster winners, you're on standby. All right, another good drag race here between Doug Dahl and Mike Bodner with similar green lights as they head to the quarter mile. And moving on to round three here, it's going to be Doug Dahl with an eight pack. Four light dead four to buck 55. Doug Dahl looks like he's going to be tough to beat today as Bodner was 14 on the tree, takes 42 at the finish line, breaks out by 48 thou, and Doug Dahl with an eight pack is going on to round three. Amanda Boychesko, the relentless car in the left lane, the 06 undercover dragster. She's your number 10 qualifier after round one, was four over two. And Andre Brown, the Brown Brothers racing car in the right lane, the 04 race tech, the number 20 qualifier after round one, broke out by a 10th, 1100 or 115 thou, if you want to go out to the full decimal place that I can see. All right, we got a good race here between Brown and Boychesko. Good green lights. As they go to the finish line, it's going to go to Boy Chesco. 12 light to Brown's 24. Man of 7 over 2. Takes 78 thou as Brown's off it, uh, off it right there. Just tried to force her out, but didn't have it. As he goes 13 over, 903 on the 890 at 168 miles per hour. <laughs> Steve Everett on Josh Eastford. Your next pair up here. Everett, the mechanic from Williamstown in his 2007 Dragster, your number six qualifier. Josh Eastburn, Newark, Delaware resident in the 2011 Dragster in the right lane, the number 16 qualifier, broke out by 12 thou in the first round. Uh, first round, <laughs> Everett was two over O. All right, great race there. Goes to Josh Eastburn. One thou, light to Everett's 11 thou. Eastburn, one over one, 12 thou package for him. Everett takes 27 thou, breaks out by 26. And Josh Eastburn moving on to round number three. All right, attention in the pits. Let's go. Top sportsmen and top dragster winners to the lanes to get paired up for your second round of eliminations. Motorcycle ET and junior dragsters, you're on standby. Top sportsmen and top dragster winners to the lanes to get paired up for second round. Once again, attention in the pits. Top sportsmen and top dragster winners to the lanes to get paired up for your second round of eliminations. Motorcycle ET and junior dragster winners, you're on standby. All right, looks like your last match up here in the first round of super, I'm sorry, second round of super power. Dave Long left side taking on Jessica Eastburn in the right lane. One side here is Greener on the reaction time, and the wind light's going to go to the Greener light. 14 for Long, 45 for Jessica in the right lane. And Long takes a thou, goes one over three, 27 total for Dave Long there. Final run of the second round. Eastburn broke out by 17 thou. All right, just a little bit of starting line prep here before we bring out Super Stock round number two and that's what i thought was going to happen because i know it's one of your favorite classes here at this event i think it's one of everybody's favorite classes <laughs> here at this event but super stock is getting ready to come out for round number two of eliminations all right so once again attention in the pits we need top dragster and top sportsman winners to the lanes for second round of eliminations motorcycle et and Junior Dragster winners, you're on standby. As we uh, continue on here, looking for winners and eliminations at the NHRA Northeast Division Micro Strategies National Open.
All right, so getting a little track maintenance in, making a track uh, back up to uh, our high standards right here at ACO. And then we'll be bringing out the super stock cars coming out next. We need super gas. Let's go. Round winners right now to the lane. Super gas, please. All right, top dragster, top sportsman. We need motorcycle ETs. Let's go. Bring them over to the uh, lanes right now. Go. This is Superstar coming up here, round number two of elimination. John Canada, Shop Blaze out there leading first in a Mustang battle out here. Oh boy, red light start left lane for the factory GTC car. It'll go right lane under by whoo, 500, 51 thou actually. And he had an 83 light, but he's going to the third round. Gonna put a Ford in there. Okay. Here's Richard K, the B modified. He's gonna have to take on the wily coyote out there. <laughs> How about Russ Linky in the Cobalt with the little Pontiac 305. He's gonna leave first here, Dolly 984. K with an 866. Oh, the lights are super close. This is gonna be a tough, tough race right at the stripe. Who's gonna play the finish line? 
Oh, it's going to be a double breakout under by seven thou. Left lane, right lane under by 12. Whew. Richard K took a two thou strike. Boy, he was playing it tough. But it's going to be five thou difference in the double breakout. Russ Linky will survive. Here's Jeff Rule. The factory super stock G car. The big bad Mustang here, 428 powered. He'll take on Guy Desjardins, Super E Automatic, the 67 Camaro. Big block, 396 car. Number one qualifier in Superstock at 1.179. But he's down a tenth in reaction time to the Mustang. And the Mustang handles him upstairs right there by a tenth. All right, we need top dragster, top sportsman, and motorcycle ET right now to the lanes. Here's Bill Kennedy, the GTM automatic Firebird. Going to leave first to Wally Clark, who's been driving very well this weekend. Left lane qualified, number five. Right side, 15. Kennedy's going to dial it hard. Wally Clark doing a whale of a job driving this weekend. Can he get there first? No, but he'll get there and not break out. <laughs> Left lane broke out by 11th out, took a 5th out stripe. Whew, Wally Clark busted up a 006 light on him out there and ran one over with a 6. Whew, how about that? So a 22 pack with the win for Wally. Right, Canadian doing good. Here's Pat Glade, the GTH automatic Camaro here, 350 car, 970 dial. He's got Brian Cianci with the GTI automatic. we will go with the 1046. Another 350 Camaro. Oh, Glade way late right here. Over two tenths late. Ain't going to make it happen for himself there. Ryan Cianci handles him. Took a 10th and 600s on the finish line. Ran for the over at just 114. All the super gas should be lined up in the lanes, ready for the next round. And we need top sportsman, top dragster right now, as well as motorcycle ET to the lanes. All right, here we go. Next pair. All right, here's Bill Marshall's Camaro. 965. Mark Lebrecht in the team, the GTP truck. Red light start by just 11 thousandths for him. Boy, they were dialed just 400 to 4 thousandths, 400 apart, I'm sorry. And the wind line going to Marshall. On the dial with a five, but he was late though. Whew, 159 light, but it is a winner. Motorcycles, let's go. Right now to the lanes to get paired up. You're on a ladder. Wind blowing a little hard there coming from the west. Here's Doug Linke. He's going to leave first out here with the GTL automatic dial to 1034. Red light start for him by a mere three thousandths out there. Oh, huh, tough break. Shane Oak's going to take advantage of that. And he'll run easily off the throttle at 992. He was number four qualifier. So Linky's out. Here we go. This is going to be a big battle right here. Oh, boy. Your number three qualifier, Jeffrey Lawrence, ran 1.138 under. We'll dial hard, too. 898, the dial for him. And George Taylor, the E-modified Camaro, 922. He's going to dial it hard, too. They're going to run him flat out here. A couple of swinging small blocks. Camaro taking on the Mustang. The Celine over here, left lane. Celine from New York, the Camaro from Maryland. Red light start for Jeffrey Lawrence by just two 
thousandths of a second. And it will be a George Taylor 10 thou package right there getting the job done. Oh, oh yeah. Whoo, 006, dead four. He's always had success here at ACO. All right, John Agnetta, right side, the GTG automatic car, the Firebird out of Pennsylvania, and he'll go with a 957. Jazzy, Jeff Thornton, boy, he got lucky first round. Absolutely lucky. Let's see if he can get some good goodness going right here. Oh, problems with the car. All right, wind light goes right lane this time. One second over at 10.56. Thornton left nice, had a 56 light, but uh, whew, things shut off on him. Then it came back on, then it shut right off again. So a tough break for Jeff Thornton that time. But he went to the second round. All right, bringing up the Jeff Trip A modified 84 Monte Carlo here, left lane dial 879. Gonna run it hard out there. Ran a best of 878 in qualifying, so we'll dial up one. Next to Wendell Howes, the Super I automatic Barracuda with the 340. He ran a 985 with a six, qualified number eight. And he'll dial up. One also, 986, right side. But he goes red with the Plymouth. Hand the win right over there to the Monte Carlo, and he'll go. 875 with an 8. There's a free time run right there for Jeff Tripp. All right, looks like that'll do it right there for round two of Super Stock. Super Gas coming out next. And this will continue into round number two for Super Gas. Here we go. This is the 990 index right here. Going to bring up a couple of uh, roadsters to start things off. Don Miller's Camaro, the 68 Camaro here, the roadster, uh, up against Mark Marcico's 98 Corvette roadster with the Ford powered 602. Top sportsman, suit him up. Here we go. Red light star for Marcico by 18 foul. Puts Don Miller into round three. And he'll run it out. 89 with a six. Marcico running 992 with a two, but 18 thousandths red. <laughs> Hank Smith and George Smith. The Smith brothers. No, they're not brothers. Remember the Smith Brothers cough drops? They were so big back in the day. Oh, they were so tasty, too. You could buy a pack for 10 cents. <laughs> oh, I used to love those. All right, Camaro Roadster up against the Camaro Coop out there. Red light start for the 68 right side by six thousandths of a second. Axis will handle him out there. 017 on the green light, running one over with a four.
All right, all the way from Massachusetts, here we go with Max Starks. He'll take on the Jason Anagnostis Grand Dam. Coming out of Scotch Plains, New Jersey, red light start right side for the Pontiac. With the Corvette into the next round here in Super Gas, we'll run 888, 988 with a three. Okay, that'll bring up a big tough match right here with Oscar Olt left lane in the Corvette Roadster up against the Pontiac Grand Am of John Asta. He put up some numbers last time. Let's see what he does this time. I'll check the top end here. We think we got something laying in the traps up there. It right, looks like we're going to bring the top sportsman cars out before the top dragsters this time. Once again, all the motorcycles should be lined up in the lanes right now, ready to roll. And then we'll bring the junior dragsters right behind them. So let's bring up the uh, six to nine year olds right now. Six to nine junior dragsters right behind the motorcycles, please. Round winners only, of course. So junior dragster six to nine, right behind the motorcycles. Bring them up, please, right now. And the 10 and up, stand by. We'll be calling you very shortly. All right, here's John Astor, right side. Oscar Olt, this should be a battle. Here in round two of Super Gas. Oh, they're both good on the light. Oscar's got about a hundred on him out there. Will it be enough to get him? Yes, he'll get him in a double breakout by 28 thousandths. How about that? 87 with a three beats an 84 with a five at 180 miles an hour. Oscar ran 165 himself. He was 002. Asta was 013. So Johnny cutting some lights out there, but just not good enough that time. He tried to hog the line down there. All right, Jake Barbado taking on Rob Keister. Oh, Keister put a big light on him out there. See if he can hold him off upstairs. I know he slows it down up there. Can he get there? Yes, he will. Woo -hoo. How about a 993 beats a 992? He was 008 on the light. Rob Keister, your winner. Jake was 054. Okay, so Rob Keister, phew. Laying one down right there. All the motorcycles should be there in the lanes, ready to go for round two. Here's the final super gas car, Bill Trum. Number one qualifier running under 989 with a two. All right, we're going to run the top sportsman, then the top dragster, then go right into motorcycle. So the motorcycle should be ready to go. And we need the six to nines. Last call to the lanes right now. We need the 10 and up right behind them. Let's go bring them to the lanes, please. Round winners only. All right, it's going to be Bill Jackie, your number one qualifier. Ron Regal left lane, your number three qualifier. This is going to be a big battle right here for sure. 
six second cars ran 200 mile an hour in qualifying each of them did Ron Regal uh, whew, got quite an impressive uh, array of wins here at ACO and uh, elsewhere He's the honcho over there at Regal Racing Engines in Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania. He's like me at the racetrack. He likes to cook. Gives him something to do in between uh, rounds, you know? <laughs> Doesn't like waiting around. Just likes to uh, get right to it. All right, 684 for Ron. Left lane, Bill Jackie, a 647. He's got that Charlie Buck Racing Engine out there. North Carolina. Janky better on the tree. He's closing on him. Can he get there? Yes, he will. Three over the dial by 27 thou at the stripe. Right lane was three over. Left lane was two over. 19 light for Janky. 54 light for Ron Regal. He's done. They did both go 200 mile an hour. 219 to a 203. All right, who's going to get the buy run? How about Gregory Fisher? I believe he's going to the final round. How about that? He'll dial 752. Being set up on the starting line by Andre Brown, the Brown brothers. Long time racer out here at ACO. Hi, right, G-Man, Greg Fisher. Here we go with his top sportsman car. Going to make it to the final today. How about that? He's going to take on the number one qualifier here in the final round. All right, we need the 10-year-old uh, and up cars right now. Back in the lanes. All right, 12 thou on the negative side there. Red light, actually. Looking for a 52, goes 755 at 183 miles an hour right there. All right, all the junior dragsters left. Let's see you. all those 10 and up. Brown winners should be there back at the lanes getting matched up right now. They're on a ladder, I believe. So, uh, junior dragsters, 10 and up. You should be right behind the uh, six to nine year olds and back there getting matched up right now, okay? Gonna run out these top dragsters and then we'll go right into the motorcycles, see the junior dragsters. And we'll come back for Super Street. We'll be calling you momentarily, so hold on. All right, here we go. John Nobile. Whew, he was looking so sharp there last time. How about that? He'll go with a 617 right now. He's got Rob Hyatt in the dragster right lane here from New Hampshire. 762 the dial. Ooh, that's a big handicap. And this John Nobile car, that thing runs like the Dickens. Here we go. Let's watch what he does. Even right there, Nobile with a hot hand. Left flank, can he get there? No. Falls off 500s out there. Right side, 500s. It was, whoo. How about three thousandths at the finish line? 36, 10 thousandths. Rob Hyatt got him. Boy, oh boy, that was some race. 38 light for Nobile, 40 light for Hyatt. He'll get the win. Might have gave it back out there. I'm not sure. That thing was storming for sure. 
ran 45 miles an hour faster off the throttle, I'm thinking. All right, Frank Frenet Genovesi. He'll take the left lane 690 dial. He's got Chris Mattern going to leave first right side. All right, we need Super Street round winners, Stock Eliminator round winners. Bring them up. Let's go right now. We're moving right along here at ACO. Oh, Frank Genovese, three tenths late out there, left lane. And Chris Mattern handles them easily. Eight over the dial at 756. 41 light to 344 light left lane. Frank was dead late. Ran four over the dial, but could not get there. I believe this final pair here in top dragster. Motorcycles, put your helmets on. You're ready. Here we got Joey D right here. Left lane dial 675. He'll take on Johnny Smith out there with a 632. He'll chase. With the Boz Dragster out of Poughkeepsie, New York. Joey D lives right over there by the Pomara Bridge. out there oh boy i think left out of there 992 runs dead on with a three to no avail right side 17 light dead two for a 19 package right there johnny smith will advance All right, looks like we got to do just a quick emergency repair out there at the eighth mile. Hold them up, hold them up back there for the motorcycles. We got to do a quick emergency repair out there on the racetrack. We'll take care of this and then go right to the motorcycles. You guys can pop your helmets off back there in the uh, motorcycle ranks as we take care of this quickly. All right, it's going to be Lawrence Curry starting things off with Colin Bastard here as soon as we get back to racing action. But we've got a little bit of uh, repair to do out there, probably around the eighth mile, I believe it is. Good time to head over to Winter Circle Lounge. Yeah, it is. They've got the dollar wing thing going on over there. Whew, you want to get in on that? I just got done eating. I was like, oh, I feel so much better right now. Oh, yeah. Starting to drag out there a little bit. Gives me some more energy. Food is energy. I always say that. All right, we're moving right along here. Get ready to finish up on second round action. Still got the, uh, what, the motorcycles and the junior dragsters to do. And then we'll uh, be into the third round already. See where our air conditions are at right now. Let's see here. All right, what do we got? All right, 145. It was 73.9, just about 74 degrees at 41% humidity. Eight mile an hour on the wind speed coming from the west. And uh, let's see here. 
50.9 on the water grains. Density altitude, it's climbing up there, 1,311 feet above of density altitude right now. Hey, I want to give my shout out to Fonz back there at home watching on the uh, computer. It's like my surrogate dad. <laughs> I know when you play with the practice tree, you got to get the rollout right. I know we usually used to put in, it was standard pretty much, put in 33 rollout into the practice tree, and that's what we used to use. And then take your numbers from there. So, uh, yeah, you got to get it dialed in. All right, just going to be a couple minutes fixing this little thing. We got to put a little patch on the thing. One of the drags has ripped up a little piece of uh, asphalt out there, actually, I think. But we'll get it bonded up here mo momentarily, and uh, we'll go run right into the motorcycles for round number two of eliminations.
All right, don't forget we're open every Tuesday night here for street racing along with a gambler's race. We'll be doing that this Tuesday. Gates open at 5, as we do every Tuesday night. Then on Friday night, we're open again for street night. Gates open also at 5. But uh, next Saturday will be the Junior Dragsters along with Junior Street. The no box cars, the door slammers in the first session. Then the second session, it'll be super pro, pro and street eliminator. Sportsman, they call it now, I guess. Then let's see, that's Saturday the 13th. Sunday the 14th, what is it? It's Mother's Day. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what? We're closed on Mother's Day. We don't want to have to drag Mother out to the drag strip on Sunday. You know, she's going to be home with all the kids, and, uh, you know, everybody's going to be bringing her flowers and maybe cooking for her. What do you think? Give Mom a day off from cooking. Get Dad out there with the barbecue apron and the chef hat. Can you see him out there? Burning the stuff on the grill like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to burn it right, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, what are you going to do? You there, just take her on the road. <laughs> Where are we going to take her? Take her to the park. Have a big family picnic there. They got little grills set up there, some of those parks out there, right? Where you guys live? Mount Vernon, New York. That's right. I know who you are. Now I know who you are. I can't remember the name. It's a, it's a, yeah, yeah. When are you coming out for the next time? What did I tell you the first time was? Well, then that's what it is. Yeah. Got a nice little racing program. I like that. And all the boys, they're into it, man. Bring all the people and all the... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what. We're going to go out there and get tough on them boys out there. We're going to get some more cars, too, huh? I bet there'll be a whole bunch more. They come down from New York, but hey, if they can get 10, 15 cars, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Get a lot of money making, <laughs> making some waves out there. I'll tell you, I know the kids, they love to race for the money, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Keep them out of trouble. Take them to the track. Jeffrey Lawrence, he just went out the last round. Boy, he, I'll tell you, he was qualified really good, too. That little Celine was running, baby. Did he, huh? Yeah. Came out in the first day and struggled a little bit, but, boy, he found it quick and then was one of the one-second under cars in Superstock. Yeah, he was fast. Drove good, too, but just didn't have quite enough. It was a close one. It was like, what, three or four thousands at the stripe. It was a close race. Yeah, you lose some that way. You know what I mean? You can't be mad about it. It's just the way it is, you know? Yeah, the car's running good. You're driving good. It's just, hey, they're just a tiny bit better. And that's the brakes kind of thing, you know? Some people go out there and don't have a clue, and then they win. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> I've seen it today. Yeah, but uh, anything can happen out there. That's why they do it. Ah, it looks like a little tailwind kind of developing here. It was coming from the west. Now it looks like it's coming from the south-southwest. Motorcycles coming out next, then the junior dragsters, then they're going back into Super Street, and then uh, stock, then Super Comp, Super Stock, Super Gas, the third round coming up. Finishing off second round here with the motorcycles and the junior dragsters for them. And then third round of Super Street will be the big cars coming out next. Smile, you're at the drag strip. <laughs> you could be home mowing the lawn, you know what I mean? Like, that's no fun. I bet everybody's been doing it lately. Yeah, the way it's been raining, you know, making everything grow. Yeah. I don't have much lawn out there. Just like some kinds of like a uh, little bit of weeds where I park, so I just run it over a couple of times. <laughs> and I'm good to go, you know? And the side, in the side yard, I got mostly sand, so I parked my boat there and, <laughs> yeah. Mm, I'm going out tomorrow, taking the boat out tomorrow. What the heck, right? Supposed to be good weather. I, I live right down by the boat ramp, <laughs> down the shore. Down the shore in Jersey. Yeah, two miles, I'm there. And one mile is riding through the, through the you know, the, what do you call it? The oat fields or whatever the hell it's got. 
down to Sea Oats, <laughs> you know, right this, just to get to the launch, you know. And uh, they redid it all down there. They got a little beach down there. I hope it's not crowded with, you know, but during the week, I don't think it will be. But during the week, yeah, yeah. I just hope they have a bigger parking lot down there they have, you know, because uh, now if everybody's going to start going to the beach that they built down there, I'm thinking, oh, man, it's going to be hard to park the boats, you know. Oh, the little 327 stick car? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a problem with my, what do you call it, the thermostat up there, man. It usually it's cool and nice in here. Yeah, it ain't that, yeah, it ain't. Do you? Okay. I was going to say it was working good till yesterday, and then the, okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's coming out. It's coming out a little bit, but it's not like it should. Yesterday we lost power for a time, and then everything vanished in the back. Because usually I put it to 75, and it'll say 75, but now it's like 80 degrees in here. It's like, phew. I'm not putting up with that all summer. You can bet on that. <laughs> I'll sit outside, put this, turn the screen around so I can see what the heck I'm looking at, you know? Yeah. Well, it's just some stuff that's out. And tomorrow, on Tuesday, we're, work, we're working at night, so it shouldn't be bad at all. But No, Wednesday. Tuesday nights here at ACO. No Thursdays anymore. They had Thursday nights, but not anymore, yeah. It's Tuesday nights and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But then Sunday's Mother's Day, so we're not running. Yeah, usually Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. To do what? Just make runs? You'd probably be better on Tuesday night, maybe. Depends on the weather. You know. What's that? I suit up the motorcycles. We're looking like we're good to go out here. All fixed up. All right, super stock. Su no, stock, you mean. All right, let's go. We need super comp round winners back to the lanes. Super stock round winners back to the lanes. Let's go. We've got stock in there already. Yeah, I forgot to look down the lanes. Yeah, we got uh, Super Street round winners and stock round winners. We need uh, Super Comp round winners, Super Stock round winners right now. Back to the lanes. Let's go for round three of eliminations. Here we go. Motorcycles rolling them out. Starting off here, we got Lawrence Curry, your track champion out here left lane from Philly. On the Hayabusa, dialing in at a 9.15. He's going to leave first. To Colin Bastar, he's got that ZX-14, Kawasaki 1400 out there, the blue bike. And here we go, this is round number two of eliminations here in Motorcycle ET. Racing for a Wally here today. Colin put a light on him out there. How about a perfect light? And he'll get the win. Two over with a four, winning by five thousandths down there. Boy, Curry was dead on with an eight. 21 light, but Colin goes triple O. And he'll get the win light and put Lawrence Curry on the trailer. All right, Walt Snyder, here we go, left lane. He's out of the Villas, New Jersey. Here, left lane, dial 10 flat. He'll take on the Bill McCann Kawasaki 14. 
Coming from North Cape May. A couple of Cape May boys out there. Cape May County boys, I should say. All right, a big late light out there, left lane. Ooh, Bill McCann should be able to chase him down easily out there with the green bike. And does at 918, tightening it up very nicely. 66 light to a 386. Oh, wow. Here we go to V-Rod Harley, left lane of Robert Willis. He'll go with a 946 dialing this time. With the V-Rod Harley from Belmar, New Jersey. He's got Mike Trembley from Dorchester down there in uh, southern Cumberland County. 894 dial right side on the white bike. And the wind light will go to Trembley. One over the dial at 895 is good. Left side got there first. Broke out by 400s. All right, here we go. Got another Harley in here. It's Bill Burst with the 2016 V-Twin. He'll go with a 1221 dial here. He's got Mike Sadlowski on the old air-cooled Kawasaki right side. Dialed in at 893. All right, Speed Shop's going to close in 10 more minutes. You want anything from there, including fuel, get over there. Wind light goes right side here. Left lane got there first, took a 700 stripe out there. Broke out by 300s. Sadlowski running five over at 898. He's going to be the winner. All right, Robert Brooks out here. He's got the Kawasaki right side. He's taking on the Vanderbilt voice. Hayabusa, look at how long this bike is. 846 to dial. All right, Boyce. Getting a win on a double breakout right there. Running 845 with a two out by just eight thousandths. Right side out by 32. So by 24th out, it will be Van Boyce. Brooks was 37 on a light van, goes 013. All right, going to be a single right here to end the round. It'll be Chris Jones getting the buy run here on his 2023 Suzuki 1300. All right, once again, the speed shop's going to close up in less than 10 minutes. So if you need any fuel or anything else, run over there and grab it now. All right, looks like Junior Drags is coming out next with the six to nine year olds.
Especially on the weekends, everybody's out. So we're not allowed. All right, here we go. This is round two. Junior Dragsters, the six to nine year olds, right here. And we got Olivia Torchia, left lane. Aaron Frankovic here, right side, dialed to 12 15. Willie first. Oh, he went red by 19 thousandths out there. Olivia will pick up the win, left lane. 108 on the reaction time. And runs eight over at 11.98. All right, we're down to the semifinal. Here we go, second pair. Winner goes to the final. And it's gonna be the pay own boys gonna battle it out to see who gets to the final round. How about that? And the winner takes on Olivia in the final. All right, Kyler over here, left lane, taking on Cole in the right. Cole dialed right side at 11.98. And a 13.90 for Kyler, for young, young Kyler. <laughs> He's some boy. I like that kid. Oh, he has a great smile on, him, on his face down here at the drag strip. This is like his favorite playground, right? He lives for the drag racing. All right, Battle of the Brothers right here. They'll be talking about this all week. <laughs> the winner goes to the final round. Get in there, get in there. Oh, there he goes. Oh, boy. Ah, looks like the whole shot going right lane by over a tenth. But can he get there is the question. Yeah, he did. And he got there and beat his brother in a double breakout. Left lane under by 400. Right side by just two. So Cole Payone going to the final round. All right, here we go. Ten-year-old and up, junior dragsters. Here we go. We got a few of those. And then we'll go right into Super Street. <coughs> Excuse me. Super Street, round number three. It's going to be Gavin Roth. Got the little funny car. First time out at the track with this car. Of course, nah, nobody around here has seen one of these yet. Heard about them. Of course, they were developed by uh, Antron Brown, whose family's here today. And uh, Antron developed this thing, the little funny car. It's Toyota body, I believe. And uh, here it is. First time out with it. Gavin Roth, 819 the dial, taking on Zach Brignon, dial 790 here in the dragster. Oh, 
it's the red light start by just 10,000 strike side for Gavin Roth in the funny car. He'll run under by a tenth. Left lane out by just 900. That's your winner, Zach Rignon, with a 53 green light. Right lane was 10,000 red. Madison Schoenberger going to take the left lane. This is going to be a heads-up race at 790, the dial. And it's going to be Robert Grant over there right side. One of my neighbors down here from West Creek. Took out Emily Stalba here in round one. In a real tight race. goes 1,000th red, 001 red for Grant. Shoo, 77 on the green light left lane for Madison. She'll run under by 800s. How about Grant? He was four over with a zero, but 1,000th red. Oh, boy. That's such a heartbreaker. All right, Joey Torchia next here, left lane, 898 to dial up against Ryan Schmidt. Taking up a 790 dial right here in the right lane. It's a red light left lane for Joey. Put Ryan Schmidt into next round with a nice 010 reaction time. Can he go 790? He goes 783 with a five. But he's in to round three. Right, it's gonna be Emma Aragona taking the left lane dial 799, and it'll be Gabriella Buka here with an 895 dial right side. Here we are at the Micro Strategies National Open here at Echo Dragway. Round two of the Junior Dragsters. Gabriella right side going to leave first about a one second handicap here 895 the dial Emma dial 799 oh but Emma with a big red light right there by 98 thousandths Gabrielle with a nice 48 light she'll go 903 eight over the dial for the win Bring up a nice race here, Sean Nardi. Taking a left lane, he's got this uh, yellow and blue and red drag. Sure, here we go, 792 dial. Paul Stalba dial 791.
Just a 100th in the handicap here, going left lane for Sean Nardi. Whole shot going right side for Stalba this time by six hundreds. And it'll be enough for him to get the win. Going five over the dial right side, five over left lane. It was the whole shot right there was the difference. 40 light to a 105. Paul Stalba goes on. All right, where's my super comp cars? Bring them up. Super comp round winners. Let's go. Bring it to the lanes for round three. All right, here's Mike Sharico right side, 792 dial. He's got J.J. Schonberger left side. Good looking junior drags are out here. Go red light deciding this one. 57 red for Mike. Put JJ into the next round under by 500. right making sure the dial ends right there they pointed it out 893 the dial for Caden Payone left lane he'll take on Frank Aragona the third dialed 801 right side got it all right we're all right put it in the beans here we go Woo, boy what a light out there for Aragona. Shoot, double O light. And guess the win light. How about that? 814 on an 801. Double O seven on the light. Playing hard. <laughs> and playing to win. Frank Aragona going on. Here we go. Final car in the juniors. For round two. Madeline Torchia. I shall go for an 809 right here. All right, nice 43 light out there for Torchia. And runs 8-10. One over with a 7 and a 43 light. Good run right there for Madeline. She'll go on. All right, do a little bit of track prep right here, just a little bit, and we'll go right into Super Street. 
round three. All right, here we go. Gary Pritchett out here trying to make a name for himself at ATCO. Let's see what he can do. He's got the uh, Jeff Eastburn Chevy Nova left lane here. He's got Eddie Bloom right side. And every round gets tougher and tougher. All right, he's in the game right here. Let's see what he can do. Top end of the racetrack. He will break out by 11 thousandths. Right side, 1092 with a seven. He dumped them out there. 133. Gary was 143. So it took 10 mile an hour more, and uh, whew, they picked his pocket right there at the stripe. 15 light for Eddie Bloom. It was a 25 light for Gary Pritchett, but he's out. All right, Kelly Barbado matching up with the new car, the little roadster out here, the uh, Italian car of Keith Mayers, the Alfa Romeo. He works over there at Hoops Fire and Safety, doing some welding and uh, whatever else they need him to do. <laughs> Kelly, a little better on the light there. Who's going to get down there first and uh, not try to hog the line, I guess, right? Wind light goes left lane. Ooh, 91 with an eight beats a 91 with a one by three thousandths of a second boy oh boy how about that it was a 16 light to a 26 for mayors three thou at the stripe kelly barbado taking out the new car all right james moshear and don Berghese. these are two killers for sure local boys here run aqua all the time moshear from blackwood right side dominic from williamstown here we go Red light start right side, a big 23 red light.
and he'll get the win on the red light. Dominic was 004, goes 89 with a three. All right, that'll do it right there for Super Street Round 3. Here we go, third round of Stock Eliminator coming up. Rich Prizer, the C-Stock Automatic Mustang. Kenny Robinson, the D-Stock Automatic 67 Camaro. 396 car left lane, 428 car over there right side for the Ford of Richard Prizer, who... Uh, major sponsor here in the junior dragster classes at ACO. Kicking in always extra bucks for the juniors. Just a great guy. All right, pretty even on the light out there. We like goes to Richard Prizer this time. Left lane broke out by sixth out, took a 42 stripe. 42 light for him, it was a 39 light for Rich Prizer. He'll run three over the dial at just 114. He dumped him down there. And it's Richard Prizer. Super gas, we need super gas cars. Round winners, let's go right now to the lane. Super gas, bring it up. Keep this thing moving along. All right, Rich Prizer with a big win right there. Here's John Bubka's 66 Chevy, too, little 327 car. And he'll take on the Sean Conway Malibu wagon. All right, Bubka, he ran a second under, 1.10 under. With the little 327 car. Oh, but he's late here. Can he make it happen? Uh-uh. Whew, he fell off three-tenths out there himself. Left lane was four-tenths off. Sean Conway wins it, 80 light to a 220. Tough break. Frank Maiola right side, Jimmy Roberts out there with the G-Stock Camaro convertible. Getting a big jump out there left side on reaction time. He'll make the win happen. Two over the dial at 11-11. Right lane goes dead on with a six, but he was late. Duan bomb and a heads up drag race right here. F stock automatic cars. Big hole shot going right lane to Tim Barrett. He'll get the win here flat out. 1072 beats an 11 flat. And he had him big on the light too, over two tenths better on the light. All right, Ryan Horensky, 996, A stock automatic. Factory stock C, Jack Mateus, this will be a battle. Oh, look at that Shelby car whip the wheel up high. Couple of double O lights right here, gonna be a tough, tough race. Wind goes right side. Horensky won over with a three, left lane got there first, but he broke out by 13 foul, took a 27 stripe. Jack Mateus, double O eight. Ryan was 009. 
Boy, definitely a big battle there, but the Copo's out. The Shelby remains. All right, Super Comp, Super Stock should all be in the lanes. Here we go, Bobby Fazio, M Stock Automatic Mustang, the first year car, 64. Firebird going to chase him out there. Oh, the double A stock car late on the light. He ain't never going to catch him down there. Left lane got him covered. Whoo, 21 light to a 149. Fazio taking out Anthony Panin. All right, we need top dragster, motorcycles, and juniors back to the lanes round winners only. Bring it up. Top dragster, motorcycle, and junior dragsters. Bring them back. All right, Dom Desjardins out of Quebec, out there in the left lane, dial to 1040, and A-Stock Automatic. He's got Nick Ryder, F-Stock Automatic, the Cuda. Boy, they were waving for him about something out there. I think he was leaking out there. He'll get down the track, and left lane will get the win, though. Eight over the dial. Right side fell off by uh, 13. So Dom DeJardin's taking out the Cuda. All right, here we go. This is super stock. Russ Linky left lane up against Jeff Roll. The Mustang in factory super stock G up against Russ Linky's GTK automatic. Oh, Linky, he's driving today, baby. How about a triple O light for him out there, left lane, and he will get the win. One over with a one. How about an 11 thou package? Russell Linky, perfect light. Goes 11 package. Oh, boy. Right lane on the dial with a three with a 23 light. 26 package, losing by 15,000. <laughs> it ain't easy out there, kids. Hi, right, Bill Marshall's Camaro. Here we go. GTG Automatic, the big block 454 machine. Taking on Jacques Blaze out of Connecticut. GTI Automatic. 98 Ford Cobra. Terrible lights, but they're pretty even. <laughs> All right, anybody going to get this one? It'll go left lane. One over the dial with a one. Right side, two over with a six. 128 light to a 134. It was 21 thou at the stripe right there. Going to Bill Marshall. Hi, Brian Stianchi coming out of the right lane here. GTI automatic. He'll go with the 1046. Leaving first in the Camaro here. Taking on the Firebird Formula WS6 car. I almost bought a convertible like that. It was a beautiful car. 
All right, here's Shane Oaks, 976. And Shane's driving pretty well here today. Super stock car looking good, but he can't get the win. He could not run the number. Right side, Brian will get him down there. Oh, he was 37 on the light for Shane to a 91. But Brian will win it. Just seven over the dial. Left lane fell off. Ooh, almost three tenths. All right, Wally Clark getting bumped to the left lane here by John Agnetta. It's a heads up drag race. Let's see what happens. Agnetta qualified better in GTG Automatic, but he goes red right here by 33 thousandths. Whew, Wally Clark, he got a little bit of luck right there. Actually ran quicker right there. How about that? 300s quicker. Had a 67 light left lane. Right lane was 33 red. Wally Clark looks like he's doing everything right here this weekend. All right, a couple of hot modified cars here. The A modified of Jeff's trip takes the right side. The E modified of George Taylor, he'll take the left lane right here. This is going to be a big battle too. Taylor qualified number 13. Trip number 18. All right, so the uh, Camaro going to leave first. Monte Carlo going to chase out here. Red light starts for the Camaro by 25 thou. Trip would have been 5 thou red himself out there, actually. But Jeff Trip will win it. 22 over at 899. Left lane under. By 13 thou going 920 with a 7 on a 922. It was a 25 red light for George Taylor. He's out. And that'll do it for Superstock. Here we go. This is the 890 class. And it keeps getting tougher every round. All right, Josh Eastburn left lane with the Hoops Fire Prevention Car. Here we go. He's got Doug Dahl who goes red to him right here. Oh boy. Big surprise there. Seventh out red for Doug Dahl. It'll be Josh Eastburn going on. All right, Angelo the Taco out here right side with his dragster. See what he can do here against Anthony Barrett. Angelo qualified number seven at 8920. Looking real good here in the Super Cop car. He's got the dragster performing the way he wants it, and he will not get the win by six thousands here. Oh boy fell off an 896 on a, whew, on an 890 left lane was 892 with a six 52 light for barrett anthony smacked him with a 23 light but he's out all right another tough race here we go david long left lane amanda boychesco Both with teen lights. This would be good.
squeezing it hard at the finish line. David Long, 890 with a one, is going to be the winner, making a 20, excuse me, a 20 thou package right there, putting it together, winning by 23 thou. She was 11 on the light, but an 893 with a two at 179. So Amanda down to David Long. All right, third round super comp continues here. Jeff Kondratik here up against Tom Oliver. close race here we go 893 for tom oliver taking out jeff kondratik he was 894 and a 95 light for him didn't happen that time so oliver goes 47 on the light wins by 600 All right, Tommy Stalba, he's got Butch out there, Butch Butcher out there in the right lane. Oh, but Butchie with a red light by 3,000 is handing it over right there to Tommy. 19 light for him, and he'll march through at 891 with a zero. Stalba continues. Oh, that's the end of that round. They start going quicker because we got less cars. All right, where are we at? Super comp. Dun, 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 dun. Top, dragster. Top dragster. Hit him up. Oh, we got three cars left, I'm thinking. Yes, we do. Top dragster, bring him up. Top dragster. Round winners, let's go. We got three cars left. Bring it. And we need top sportsman. Well, we got two left in that, I'm thinking. Yeah. The G-Man in the final with the number one qualifier. What's that? You want motorcycle too? Juniors and motorcycles back. Let's go. Bring them all back. <laughs> All right, here we go, bringing up the A-Fuel car, Garen Stalba. Make a good burnout this time. That's right. See Tommy make a pass in the car. All right, staging up the A-Fuel Dragster. Here we go, Karen Stalba, the AA Auto Salvage car. Oh, it goes in the tires. Woo, and then lurched forward right there when it caught. That was kind of strange.
here. I was expecting a big, big pass right there. All right, well, it's getting kind of hot out there, I'm thinking. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. It feels hotter in here. It's in the 80s in here. <laughs> and you can't open the windows. What I don't think my thermostat's working good in here. Bill Trom with a red light start by 12 foul, hands it over to win to Hank Smith right there. Who too bad too. He ran 990 with a five, but 12 foul red. Hank Smith will win it 21 light, runs 10-10 at 169. All right, third round super gas. Here we go. Continuing on, Rob Keister. Up against Ra Oscar Holtz. Keister out in front. And he'll get the win. Oh boy, have a 990 with a three and a 49 light. 52 light left lane, 990 with a seven. It was seven thou at the finish line. Put that Rob Keeser into the fourth round. All right, all round winners. You're in round robin mode right now. That means you win, you come right back to the lane. Here we go, Max Starks up against Don Miller. And it'll be Max Stark's left lane, 992 with a four by 18 thou at the stripe. All right, that'll end the round of Super Gas. Here we go, bringing up the motorcycles. This is third round action right here for the bikes. All right, once again, we're in round robin mode. You win, you bring it right back to the lanes. That's the story. Here we go. Motorcycle ET, third round action. Here we go with Bill McCann taking on Colin Bastard. A couple of fast ZX-14 Kawasaki's matched up here. 870 left lane, 885 right side. Boy, boy, 
Colin way out in front looks back. Ain't nobody there. He'll chop the throttle, run a 906 on the 885. 117 life for him, 113 for Bill McCann, and he's done. I right, Van the Man Boyce here in the left lane. 844. He's going to give uh, Mike Tremley the spot right here. 894 right there for the white Hayabusa. But the super stretched out one here, left lane. Going to do the chasing. Red light start for Trebley. Put Van into the fourth round right here. 044 light, and he'll go a 49 with a three at 155 over the dial. Right side under by three thou. He was 105 red. All right, who's getting the buy run? Here we go. What's this kid's name again? Mike Sadowski. Oh, no, it's not going to be a buy run. He's taking on Chris Jones. That's who. The win light goes to Chris Jones. How about that? Four over the dial with a 15 light. Sidlowski was what? An 18 light ran six over. It was 19 thou at the stripe. Give it to Christopher Jones. All right, once again, you win, you come right back to the lanes. Round robin, let's go round robin. You win, you bring it back. I believe Junior Draxer is coming out next. Hey, let's go. If you won the round, bring it back to the lanes. We're not playing around. We're not going to sit around here. They're talking about rain around 5 o'clock, and we're not going to play that game. Uh-uh. We want to get out of here before the bad weather comes. So get yourself to the lanes if you're a winner right now. Because homie don't play that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tell him, John Martin. <laughs> 
55 for Chance at 5 o'clock. Oh, boy. Yeah, I plan on being on the road by 5 o'clock, heading back home and kicking back in my chair. I think I'll drink a beer or two maybe, huh? I'm not going to be hungry. I ate all those. I ate like four tacos. They were awesome. What are you laughing at? Check out the roast pork I made. Did I show it to you the other day? Oh, baby. It's awesome. I, I smoked it for like eight hours, and then I like soaked it in this beautiful gravy that I made. It's right there in that little crock pot back there. Take a little look. Take a whiff. Looks good or what? Really good. Have a taco. I got avocados in there. I got fresh romaine lettuce to go with it. I got the that yellow cheese, you know, the good stuff there. The uh, sharp cheddar. And what else do I got? I got uh, I got sour cream. Oh, yeah. You know you're a sucker for sour cream, John Martin. It looked good, huh? I got some homemade cookies that uh, they brought me. I've got cold 2% milk. Ronnie Regal's people. Yeah, they are. Those are. Look at them. Oh, how do you know? Oh, okay. I thought they were homemade. I don't know. Oh, so they lied to me. I don't know if they lied to me, but they they faked me out. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Well, the one, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, where's Avril been? I haven't seen her in a while. She's out there mowing the lawn? I figured that, maybe. Well, there's no class for her here today. So you think she'd come and hang anyway. Instead of stay home and cut the lawn, you know what I mean? If she wants to do housework, she can come over and do it over my house. I started cleaning my house up because it's been like four or five months since the, the uh, my cleaning lady like came over. You know what I mean? I was, what you know? She's like, oh, well, I got another job, and I do that. Finally, I just kind of let things go. Finally, I was like, you know what? I'm done looking at this. Like I got, you know, I got shit everywhere. Finally, I'm like, you know what? I can't take it anymore. Plus, I'm gonna have uh, what do you call it? I'm gonna have like company. My brother's coming from Seattle, and you know. Well, I don't blame her. She probably don't. You, she has to do all the cooking for you, probably. You don't cook, do you? Heck no. You don't clean anything. You probably don't even clean the bathroom, do you? Do you? What else does he do? Oh, well, big deal. <laughs> you expect that. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, we got some hard jobs over there. You still work, right? Oh, you don't? Oh, okay. Well, then there you go. She retired? Well, I'm retired. <laughs> hey, anytime during the week, I know if you're not doing nothing, you come out in the boat, we'll have fun, you know. I got a couple of nice boats. Well, I don't have the motorcycles anymore. Well, I got my street bike, but I got rid of the race bike, so I got now I got boats. I got a couple kayaks. I got my uh, aluminum, like, John boat with the 9.9 outboard i got i got a boston whaler with a 50 e-tech on it that's really nice and then i got the uh my brand new center console <laughs> yeah what else is there? you know i was gonna buy an airplane <laughs> not that long ago i said but then i thought no then i gotta go get the damn what do you call it the license and all that you know and and where am i gonna keep it i gotta go buy a hanger and i'm not keeping it here where am I? I can't yeah right and then all the neighbors have a fit probably Taken off here every day. Who used to fly? Wasn't a while somebody used to fly in here back in the day. Oh, I know. Connie Kalita flew in and out of here sometimes back in the day. Oh yeah, the helicopter deal. Yeah. But they had problems though. After I think there was a problem about that. Yeah, like the neighbors went stupid about it or something. There's not too many neighbors around here though. Yeah, I can understand that. I haven't heard anything about. It. Somebody said he was working. Where the hell was it? I can't remember. In Berlin, maybe, or something. They saw him at the Berlin Diner. Yeah! Yeah. Life was so different then, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. All right, what do we got? We got Junior Dragsters. Oh, we got... No, that's not the final. Here we go. 
It's going to be a heads-up 790 drag race here. Zach Grignon up there, Laflame, taking on Ryan Schmidt. Yeah, I wish I had my fan right now. I got to tell him to fix that damn on. What do you call it? I think it's the thermostat. Oh, it's a red light start for Schmidt. Give the win to Zach over here, left lane. Starting to get low on cars out there. How about that? Bring up the round winners. We need Super Street, Stock Eliminator. Come on, you know the drill. Super Comp, Super Stock, Super Gas. Bring those cars up if you're in the round, the next round. And I'm talking round four now. Top Sportsman, final round, bring it up to the lanes. Yo, dog, be quiet. It will string you up the flagpole. All right, there will be no mail checks at ACO. You got round money or you got winnings, bring it to the, come up to the tower and get it up here. We do not mail checks here at ACO. All right, Gabriella Bucco taking on J.J. Schomburger left lane. Here we go, staged up. Be in the left lane, JJ Schonberger picking up the win. Boy, that makes him happy. All right, four over the dial at 794. Right side was off a tenth. All right, here we go. Continuing on here, Super Pro Junior Dragster, Madeline Torchia, and the left lane taking on Frank Aragon to the third, who's been driving very well here today. All right, 799, right lane for Frankie and an 809 for Madeline left side. Boy, another great light from Frankie out there going 015. Should be good enough to get there. Yes, it is. He'll run four over at 803 with a four. Winning by 39 thou. 71 light for Madeline. She ran just two over, but she's out.
All right, bringing up Paul Stalba. He's got the Madison Schomburger entry here, left lane 792. Stalba 794. He loves to play the finish line. his dad kind of like point like you better get there now <laughs> and then rocks the car a little bit just to let him know he's serious out there that's right like wilbur used to say holler but don't hit wilbur <laughs> all right here we go 794 for stalva 792 for schomburger Time hit right there for Stalba. Who going double O? And he'll whoop it just enough to go eight flat with a four. Winning by seven hundreds out there. Double O nine on the light for Paul Stalba there. Who yeah, and a ninety six light for Madison Schomburger. That was the difference. Seven hundreds was the stripe. All right, let's go. We need Super Street, Stock, Super Comp, Super Stock, Super Get. Get them all back here. Let's go. Round winners right back to the lanes. If you win, bring it back. Just another day at ACO, having fun. Top dragster, roll them out. Ooh, we got three cars left in top dragster. Roll them up. And we need the top sportsman final right now to the lanes. Let's go. Two cars left there. We're ready for the final. All right, here we go. We got three cars left here in top dragster. Let's get these done with. So we have a final round. Woo, that's loud. Here we go, Johnny Smith right side. He's going with a 630 right here. And he's matched up with Rob Hyatt. 764. The dial he's going to choose right now. So it's going to be uh, a second and a couple tenths. In the handicap. Couple of great lights right here going to the side. This one, win light right side. Five over at 213. Oh, 11 on the light. That play was five over also with a 32 light. It was 18 thousandths. That's pretty much what the whole shot was. All right, so Johnny Smith going to the final. He's going to take on this car right here. Probably one of the slower cars out there. Number 10 qualifier ran uh, 751, 751, 760. It's Chris Mattern here with the 2002 Quay car. He'll go with a 754 dial right here. 
Once again, roll up all around winners. Bring them up. Going 007 on the tree. Looking for a 754. Goes a 58 with a 6. Might be dialing up a little bit more for next time. Here we go. This could be the top sportsman final round of eliminations. Right here. And it's going to be Greg, excuse me, Greg the G-Man Fisher here left lane in the Chevrolet Camaro. 2015, he's going to match up with your number one qualifier right here. Bill Janky. The Billy Jack Camaro here in the right lane. And he'll go with a 649. 753 left lane. Boy, it's going to be one over a one second spot right here in Top Sportsman. Here we go. It's going to be Billy Jack right side here with the uh, Charlie Buck racing engines here. And we'll be spraying lots of nitrous out there. Going to need a lot of nitrous. He goes 220 mile an hour with that car. Of course, uh, Greg Fisher, he's around 177. All right, Andre Brown up there leading him into the uh, beams here, the blue car. And we'll see who's going to get the big money and the Wally here today. I'm sure Greg Fisher doesn't have one. He'd love to have one right now. Let's see if he can get it. Woo, baby, he went 005 on the light. He's going to make Jackie work for it. But Janky gets the win. How about that? Oh, boy, three over the dial. Left lane fell off 11 out there. He had him big on the tree. 005 for Fisher. 57 light for Janky, but he squeaked it out there by 20 thou at the stripe. Whoo! Made him work for it there. 212 miles an hour out there for Bill Janky. But he's going to be your top sportsman winner here today at ACO. Here we go, fourth round coming out here in Super Street. Oh boy, we got Kelly Barbado and Eddie Bloom. Not many cars left in this class. I think we got three left. Super 009 light over there, right side for the Firebird. To a 27. Ooh, Kelly's gonna have to work if she can get and get it. Nope, she broke out by 3,000, took a 1,000 stripe. Was no room there. How about a 25 package? It was a 27 life for Kelly. Couldn't get there. All right. Eddie Bloom, 25 package. He'll go to the final, taking on Dom Burgess. All right. So Dom just going to take the tree back up, and uh, he's in the final. How come Louie's not out there helping him? I wonder why. 
Louis flirting with the girls. Don't forget, dollar wings over there at the bar right now. Oh, boy. Gold beer, dollar wings. Oh, my stomach is calling me over there. Max. Max. I'm nice and tasty over here. Max. Hot wings, baby. Mmm, they got honey in the sauce, too. Mm. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Bobby Fazio taking a uh, buy run right here. He's going to roll it in, back out. And this will be the next round of Stock Eliminator, I believe, rolling up right now. What do we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven left in stock eliminator. Supposed to be eight, I think. I don't know. Super comp, round winners, let's go. Super stock, round winners, bring it up. Super gas, where you at? Come get them. Come get some. All right, back to Stock Eliminator. Coming up here, Sean Conway. It's like 007 out here, left lane, right? Sean Conway? No. <laughs> 1220 the dial here for the N-Stock Automatic Wagon. He'll take on Dom Desjardins. A-Stock Automatic from Quebec, Canada. 1040 dial in that uh, yellow 69. Yeah, don't mind him spinning. He's been doing it all day. Not with that bad of a light, though. Can the wagon get him top end? Yes, he will. Going a 12 over the dial at 12.32. Right side fell off 7 with a 97 light. He was 700s down right there. 17 thou at the stripe. Give it to the wagon. Here's Tim Barrett, F-Stock Automatic, taking on the Ryan Horensky. He's been driving great with this little 68 Shelby 428 car. Can he make it happen? He's looking good here. Little Red Shelby. Yeah, baby, he got him down there. Four over the dial. How about three ten thousandths at the stripe? Whoo, man, making it tight. Second closest race of the day right there. Three tenths out at the stripe. Ryan Horensky moving on. All right, Rich Prizer. He's been driving great out there. Let's see what we can do out here with the Ford this time. And he'll go with a 1097 dial up against James Roberts with an 1107. Just a tenth in the handicap going to the rack top. Boy, oh boy, prize are already around him. He's going to play him like a cat with a ball of yarn. Ah, but he breaks out by 12,000. Took a 19 stripe. Give it left lane. Two over with a one for Jimmy Roberts and a 43 light. Rich was 57 on the tree, but uh, took too much down there. Just a little too much. Super big battle right here. This could very well be the final round. Wally Clark and Jeff Tripp. 
The A modified car takes the right lane, dials down to an 877 here up against Wally Clark. Ran the left lane last time. He's got it figured out here. 957. The dial for the Grand Am running GTG automatic. Wally Clark out in front. He'll get the win and a double breakout under by five thousandths. Right lane goes under by 11. Phew, boy. Had him on the tree, though. 46 for Wally. 77 for Jeff Tripp. He's out. Wally's in. All right, Bill Marshall left lane. Brian Stianchi, here we go. Camaros battling hard. Couple of low 20 lights a pair. Another close race, anybody's race. Right side on the dial with a zero and a 23 light winning by 29 thousandths right there. How about that, Brian Cianchi on the dial with a zero. All right, final car in the class. Whew. Boy, he deserves a break after all the racing he's been doing so far today. Russ Linky, just banging the tree left and right. Boy, not a great light, a 31 light. Ha <laughs> ha. Looking to go 984. 985 with a six. Still looking good out there, round after round after round. Hi, right, Super Cop, here we go. Not many cars left there. I think we got five left. Here's the buy run coming up to Josh Eastburn. Here we go, Josh. Twenty five light. Eight eighty nine with a one, one hundred and seventy miles an hour.90 with a two, taking 13 at the stripe. Whew, 21 light, dead two. 23 package, winning by 13. Right lane was 10 on the tree, ran a 92 with a six. All right, Tommy Stalva, he's got David Long. This will be the battle of the round, I'm thinking. How 
How about that Billy Jack Janky out there? Oh, boy. Tommy's going to get the win on a breakout. Whew, David Long was out by two thousandths, took a 32 stripe. Had a 22 light to Tommy's 33, but Tommy runs 891 with a 9, and we'll continue on in eliminations. All right, back to the motorcycles. Don't have many of them left. What do we got? Uh, three left. Here it is, fourth round, I believe. I hit it. Okay, guys. All right, here we go. Red light start for Chris Jones. Columbus start. Moving on with the Kawasaki right side. And he'll run under. Whoo! How about 51 thou? 879 with a nine. Yeah, leave it open. Thanks, pal. I'll be here. All right, here we go. Who's got the buy run? It'll be Van the Man. It looks like getting the buy run. 844. The dial for him. The Busa out of Neptune, New Jersey. Where's his buddy Charles? Looking for him out there, probably. He's like, where's my van? He goes, burp, 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 burp. Dog's been really happy this year. This week, especially. Here we go. 46 light out there, Van de Man. Running flat out, top end of the racetrack on the dial with an eight. Round winners, right back to the lanes. All right, three cars left. Semi-final round here at Supergas. Hank Smith going up against Max Starks. Keister, the buy into the final. Oh, boy. He's got to be floating on air. <laughs> Win light this time. Right side, 990 with a 3 and a 22 light. How about that 25 package out there for Max Starks? Going to the final. Hey, Rob Keister's got the little hope or the <laughs> little hoopty wagon out there. Yeah, babe, love that car. All right, been around a race car a long, long time for sure. Used to have surfboards on the roof. Then it had luggage on the roof. I don't, I can't, can't see what the heck's on the roof this time. Yeah, I think he's got luggage up there. I don't know why. All right. Busts the beam, backs it up. He's ready for the final round. In the final of Super Gas, Rob Keister. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy, I'll tell you. He's hard working out there with his Dot 90 series. And we'll be having him along here uh, soon. Way to go, Big Bob. <laughs> Love it. All right, Junior Dragster round winners. Let's go. Bring it right back to the lanes. We're ready for you. Junior Dragster round winners now. Hey, attention, everybody. We're going to leave the gate open all night long so you can get up and leave and park on out of here any old time you want. So, uh, you know, 
You can go do some drinking over at the bar, come back, take a nap, wake up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and head on out of here if you like. The gate will be open all night long. For your convenience. All right, once again, if you're getting money here for racing, it's all in the tower. They don't mail the checks out. No way. They have to make you come up to the tower and get the money. Get the money. Come get the money. <laughs> it's up here in the tower. Come and get it. Let's go. We got some weather rolling in, believe it or not. Yeah, they're talking rain at about uh, 5 o'clock, and that's not long from now. So let's go. Bring it up to the lanes. Round winners right now to the lanes. We need junior dragsters suited up and in their cars ready to go. Bring the juniors, please. Please don't wait to the last minute to come up and get your money up here in the tower. <laughs> it's going to be a nut house by then. So right now, 
If you want money, come up to the tower and come and get it because we don't mail checks out, plain and simple. So if you've got money coming to you, right now is the perfect time. Bring it up to the tower and get it. Thank you. Let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go. We need some cars in the lanes right now. We got to run some cars. The weather's starting to move in again. Oh, uh, no. We don't need that. We want to finish the race. We want you to get your money, your trophies, and all the good stuff and uh, secure yourself for the ride home. All right. So let's go. If you're still in eliminations, bring it up to the lanes right now. Thank you.
Here we go, semi-final round of Junior Dragsters. J.J. Schomburger left lane. Frank Aragona the third takes the right side here. Winner goes to the final round out of these two pairs. Seven ninety the dial for JJ. Aragona dial seven ninety eight. Oh, super light out there for Aragona. Who well, cutting an O eleven light? Can you make it happen? Yeah, how about that? Shoo. A twenty three package right there for Frank Aragona going O eleven on the light. One over with a two. Winning by 38 thou. Left lane did break out. Oh boy, a big. 36 thou. All right, Frank Aragona, beautiful run right there. 
11 light, one over with a two. 23 package. He'll go to the final round here today in Junior Dragster. And take on the winner of this pair here, Zach Grignon in the left lane. Paul Stalba in the right side. And they're both looking to go 790. <laughs> I love the way he does that, Tommy. Shakes his fist at him and then pushes the roll cage a little bit just to let him know, yeah, baby, go get him. All right, here we go. Heads up, 790. Going to be a great drag race. Winner going to the final round here. Red light start, left lane. It's going to be Paul Stalba going to his final round. He had the better light, 040. Left lane, 67 on the red light. Stalba in the final. Here we go, bringing out the Super Street final round right here at ACO today for the Micro Strategies National Open Series here at ACO Dragway. All right, Eddie Bloom taking on Dominic Burgese. Hey, we know that guy. <laughs> He's a local boy coming out of Williamstown. Got that good looking 69 Camaro. He's taking on the 68 Firebird out there. 468 inches of uh, Pontiac motor, actually. Eddie Bloom, the driver, owner. Don Bergese, he's got 555 cubic inches in that car. All right, final round. Here we go. For the money, for the Wally, for the prestige and all the glory. Oh, baby, 006 for Dominic. He's got the big light here, left lane. Can he make it happen? Yes, he will. 90, 91 with a 5 beats a 90 with a 9. 006 on the light. How about a 21 package, baby? Ooh, yeah. Winning by 16 thousandths. Eddie Bloom was 28 on the tree, dead 9. So how about Don Bergese picking up a big win here at his home track at Co Dragway. All right, stock eliminator coming out. What we got? I think we got four cars left, if I'm not mistaken. 
Bobby Fazio, right side, the 64 Mustang 289 car. Taking on the Sean Conway machine and stock automatic 82 Malibu with the little 305 in it. Twelve thirty left lane leaving first. Fazio twelve oh six. A couple of twelve second cars settling the thing right here. Boy, he pulled the wheels and then all of a sudden the thing started shutting off on him out there. He went red though by sixteen thou. Bobby Fazio double oh one on the light. He'll run it all the way out twelve twenty two. Actually lifting upstairs at ninety one miles an hour. Bobby Fazio going to the final round in stock all right who's he going to match up with here in the final it's going to be either that killer shelby over there or the beautiful 69 camaro convertible been a race car for a long long time too jim roberts out of rhode island g stock the stick shift car a stock automatic over there right side Shelby's high off the ground. Lights are close. Only five thou apart. Wind light goes right side. Ooh, how about that? Three over the dial. Right side. Left lane was off by seven. 37 light for Roberts. 42 light for Horensky. They were close on the tree. But give it to Ryan Horensky. He'll go to the final with the Shelby by 32 thousandths at the finish line that time. We got three cars left here in Superstock. And two of the big, big warriors of the day right here gonna face off to see who goes to the final. Wally Clark, he's been driving like a maniac. Russ Linky, shoo, boy. What can you say about him? Every round is just tougher than ever, but he survives them all. He's gonna dial 985 in the Cobalt. Wally going with a 9.55 in the Pontiac. Big hole shot left lane. By about 600. Oh, he's slowing down. Wally Clark's going to get there first. Whew, 86 light for Wally. He got lucky there. 21 light for Russ Linky. He was out on him big, but couldn't run the number. Had problems and shut it off. All right, so Wally Clark going to the final round. He's going to take on Brian Stianchi. That'll be your final. We called everybody. I don't see any super comps in the lanes, though. All right, Super Comp Round 5. We got three cars left, I believe. All right, so Brian Cianci uh, touches and breaks the beam. He'll back it up. And he'll be in the final.
Once again, bring them all back right now. Let's go. Round winners right back to the lanes. We're getting close to finishing right here, and we want to uh, do that before this goofy weather. Oh, I see clouds starting to move in. Yeah, they're getting lower. The wind's coming a little stronger here, coming from the west. So bring the cars back to the lanes right away. Let's go.
we go. Big, big battle here. The semifinal round of Super Comp. Coming up right here, Tommy Stalba left lane. He'll match up with the Josh Eastburn. Hoops Fire Safety Dragster right side. One of the big sponsors of the National Open out here. And uh, doing a great job this weekend, all right. And the Jeff Eastburn Dragster. Okay. Ooh. Going to be a big battle right here all the way down to the stripe. I can tell right now. And the winner is going to take on the last car in the lane right here. Here we go. Stalba and Eastburn. Good race here. Red light start for Eastburn. Put Tommy in the final round. He was 5 thou red, runs an 85 with a 3. Tommy gets off the throttle, saving the gas down there. Why not? 9.58 at 113. Tommy in the final round. He was 21 on the light. Josh was 5 thousandths red. All right, Anthony Barrett, here we go. The competition in the final. Here we go. Out of Bayville, Long Island, New York, the Miller car with the 632. Qualified number 12 at 895. Oh boy. 29 on the light out there for Barrett. He'll go 892 with a 7. 184. All right, that'll do it for the semifinals. Everything else is going to be a final round coming out from now on. Bring them up to the lanes. If you're in the final, bring it up. We'll run them in any old order. Does not matter. Don't forget, if you won money, you got to come to the tower right now and get it. All right, one more pass here for Karen Stalba. I think we got a couple cars over there. We'll run the top dragster final, looks like. Yeah, they're rolling out right now. Then we got Super Gas sitting there, too. We'll bring them out right after that. And then go to the A Fuel car. Hi, right, Chris Mattern. Here we go, top dragster. We're in the final of top dragster right here. Johnny Smith over there with the big fast car. Qualify number three, 624 at 219. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Chris Mattern is going to go with a 756. Going to dial up a little bit just to make sure he gets there. Might have to tap the brake a little bit upstairs. You never know. It's going to be a big differential. Probably, what, 40 mile an hour at the stripe. So he's got to be ready for that. All right, Chris Mattern out of Bridgeton. He's a railroad repairman out there during the day. Got the 582 Chevrolet in the dragster here. Chris Mattern taking on Johnny Smith. Heavy equipment driver with the 2016 Boss car. Coming out of Poughkeepsie, New York. Staged up right lane, dialed 634. Shoo, right lane with a great 004 light, and he'll get the win. Four over the dial gets the job done there by 23 thousandths. Whoo, 004, Chris was 59 on the light there. Hurt him badly. Ran one over with a five, but... It will be Johnny Smith, your top dragster winner here today.
All right, Supergas final coming up. Here we go. Max Starks in the left lane. Rob Keister, the hometown favorite coming out of Vineland right here. Runs the MAGA series, the Mid Atlantic.90 president. Qualified number five, Max Starks, qualified number six. Boy, this would be a huge win out there for Rob Keister, I'm sure. Max Starks, he'd love to take the championship home right here to Massachusetts. Okay. Going to settle it right here. Keister, of course, he uh, gets out there quick and then uh, stops it upstairs. Big 400s in the bank out there, left lane for the Corvette. Can he make it happen? Yes, in a double breakout by two thousandths in the double breakout. Oh boy, he had a 66 light left lane, 108 right side, 89 with a nine, beats an 89 with a seven by two thousandths in the double breakout. Win light to the Corvette. Max Starks, your winner here today. Good job. Going to the final round for the Keisters right there. That puts some blood in the uh, game right there. All right, I think we got a motorcycle final. Roll them up. And I believe we need the uh, stock and super stock cars back for their finals. Here we go, Karen Stalba coming up with the uh, nitro car. Here we go. I think she's going to make a full hit, I'm thinking. Testing some parts, making sure things are uh, different. I ran a best of 539 yesterday at 270 mile an hour. I'm hoping she can eclipse that right here. Can't say the air is the greatest here compared to what it was. But uh, hey, maybe a little bit of parts change in action work back there. You never know. What do we got for air right now? How about. 1,451 feet of density altitude at 73.9 and 45% humidity with 56 on the water drains. I'd be happy with a 30. 30 something. Boy, just a little bit of tire shake out there. Runs a 557 with a one at 266 miles an hour. 981 for the 60 foot. And a 373 at 212 at the eighth mile. 255 with a five. Right there at the 330. Yes, as soon as it got hooked up out there, there was a little bit of tire shake there for a bit. Mild tire shake, nothing super heavy. Ran 472 at the 1,000 foot. And then 557 at 266.
All right, here we go. Motorcycle ET. Final round right here. This is for the points for the Wally and the money. It's going to be the Kawasaki right side. Colin Bastard. He'll dial down to an 880 right here. Taking on Vanderbilt Voice. Van Boyce on the Busa right here. Left lane dialed 844. He's going to do the chasing out there on the Suzuki. The super long bike out here in the left lane, the gray bike. Can Van get his first win out here this year? We'll find out. Colin, I believe, already has one. Oh, a couple of good lights right there. Colin a little better by about a hundredth. It's going to be tight down there. Right lane is going to win it at 883. 149 by 13 thou, and it was a 12 thou hole shot right there. 13 light going three over with a six, three over with a seven, out, <coughs> excuse me, out there for Van. He was 25 on the light, which is a respectable light, but not good enough right there. Colin Bastard, your winner, getting the Wally, getting the money, and winning here at the National Open, sponsored by Micro Strategies. All right, just a couple finals left. Roll them up, please. Roll them up.
Here we go. This is the final round of Super Stock Eliminator here at the Micro Strategies Open. Here we go, bringing up Wally Clark. Whew, man, I'll tell you what. He's gone through the war out there. He'll dial in at 9.55, taking a left lane here. Brian Cianci, the GTI automatic car, go with a 10.48 right side. The Camaro coming out of Bridgewater, New Jersey. Wally, all the way from Niagara Falls, Ontario. Even the best for last. How about a 001 out there for Wally Clark? Can he seal it? deal? No! He lost by two thousandths at the stripe. One over with a four and a 34 light. Brian Stianchi is going to be your winner right there. Whew, 001 light for Wally Clark. Not good enough. He runs a 959 with a nine on a 955. Two thousandths at the stripe. 27 ten thousandths. It will be Brian Stianchi winning it. All right, so the Jersey boy getting the money right there. Keeping it in America. Of course, Wally, only 131 miles an hour. He had to give that one back. All right, here we go. Final round coming up here in stock. Eliminator Bobby Fazio. It's going to be an all Mustang final. How about that? All right, the 64 Mustang 289 car. M stock automatic Bobby Fazio from Egg Harbor, New Jersey. 1206 to dial left lane. He'll take on Ryan Horensky out of Sugarloaf, Pennsylvania. 68 Shelby with the 428. Here we go. Little better light going right side for Ryan. Can he make it happen? No, left lane gets him. Bobby Fazio runs one over with a five. Right side is off a tenth out there, right side. Ryan had a 17 light. Bobby was 34. He's going to be your champion here today in stock eliminator by 600s at the finish line. One over with a five. Bobby Fazio, the little M stocker going 12.06. Gets the win light. How about that? Little 12 second stocker. Your winner in stock. All right, once again, if you want money, come up to the tower right away and get it. They're not hanging out all night here. They want to get home to their families. You know the story.
we spend long hours here at the drag strip when we work here and uh kind of relieved when it's over actually so uh if you want money please come and get it right now we don't mail checks if you think we're going to mail it to you you can forget about that you got to pick it up right here right now
All right, Tommy Salvo, let's go. Bring the car up. We got to run. Got to run, got to run. All right, here we go. I believe we got the Junior Dragster, Super Pro Junior Dragster final round coming up. And who, Paul's in the final. That's right. Paul's in the final. Tommy's in the final. Got all kinds of stuff going on here. Welcome back, Tommy. All right, here we go. Final round action. Coming up here in the Super Pro Junior Dragster. Paul Stalba, 790 dial, taking on Frank Aragona 3. Ooh, that kid has been cutting some lights out there. He's going to be tougher than nails right here. He'll dial 797 right here in the right lane. Want to win one for his whole family. Of course, we're dedicating this race here to Frank Aragona Jr. It'd be appropriate if he's, uh, his son goes out there and wins it here in Junior Dragster. We'll see what happens, though. Paul Stalba, not to be taken lightly. He'll be in the left lane going 790. Let's see if he goes to the win. Oh, better light by about 17 thou going to Aragona right side. Can he get there with the win? Yes, he will in a double breakout. Left lane under by 9,000. Right side by 5,000. By 4 thou in the double breakout, Frank Aragona 3. Your winner here today. Whoo! How about that boy? Frankie was driving good all day. Had the light every round practically. And, uh... Wins in a double breakout. Took a 13 stripe down there. Took the stripe. Had a 12 light to Paul's 29. Paul broke out nine. Frankie by just five. Good job, Frankie the third. On a big win here at ACO. God bless the whole family. Boy, there's going to be some celebration in that winner's circle, I'm sure. Yes, sir.
Supercon final, the only thing left? All right, looks like the Super Comp Final is going to be the only drag race left here today here at Echo Dragway for the MicroStrategies National Open Series. I want to thank all the uh, NHRA people for coming down here, doing a great old job, and, of course, MicroStrategies for the uh, huh, constant help here for the Open Series. And doing all the live feed set up, too. That's a big undertaking in itself. All right, Super Comp Final, last thing to go. Bring him up. All right, put them in the water. They know where they're going. Roll that car right down to the water. All right, once again, the uh, gates will be open all night, and uh, you can leave at your leisure, don't forget. When you're ready, you can sit there right now and uh, kick back, relax, drink all the beer you want, and uh, wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and park on out of here if you'd like. Whatever you feel like doing, it's all up to you. Hang around, schmooze with your friends here tonight, doesn't matter. Or just take your time putting your stuff away and making it nice and easy. All right, once again, if you want money, bring it up to the tower right now. Let's go. Come and get it. As we'll be uh, closing up here in the tower pretty soon. So uh, you don't want to get caught shorthanded out there. You want to take the money with you because we don't mail it out. Once again, we don't forget that that we don't mail out the checks. So come and get them right now here in the Timing Tower if you want money today. And if you're not sure, come up and check. I believe third round on, but I'm not sure. Here we go. This is going to be the final race of the day. Coming up is the Super Comp Final. And we'll uh, settle the whole score from today right here in the final pair. Coming out shortly. They're suiting up the drivers right now. And then we're going to call it a day. Where'd the sun go? <laughs> Better come out tomorrow. I'm taking my boat out. Get my fishing poles all tuned up for tonight. I think I got them all ready. Everything's ready to go. I got my bait. I got my, all my stuff. Just got to uh, fire up the boat, and then, uh, phew, I'm out. I think I'll take the little boat out. It's all ready to rock and roll. 13-foot whaler with a 50-horsepower Evan Root E-Tech. Oh, yeah, and it goes. Yeah. Gets up on plane in like two seconds. I got a real aggressive prop on it, too.
All right, once again, the back gate is open. If you want to leave that way, you can pull right out there. The back gate is open, as well as the front gate. And they'll remain open all night, I believe. That's right. So uh, you won't be locked in here. You can uh, come and go when you please. Here we go, final round of Super Comp coming out right now. All right, it's going to be Tom Salva and Anthony Barrett settling it up right here. Tommy coming from Hamilton, New Jersey. That's down there in Nesco out there. Oh, I'll be passing this house on the ride home. And out of Bayville, Long Island, New York, it's Anthony Barrett taking the right lane here with the Miller car. Tommy's got the undercover. All right. Anthony qualified number 12. Tommy, number 13. So here we go. Final round action in Super Comp, the 890 index class. Here we go. bumps it in here we go ah oh, pretty even on the lights there just two thou better going to tom stalva left lane here we go right down to the finish line wind light goes right side 92 with a zero at 175 and tommy was an 893 with a nine it was 17 thou out there right lane it was 166 miles an hour for tommy stalva he was slightly better on the on the uh, start 20 to a 22 but it will be anthony barrett your winner here 892 with a zero, 175, taking 17,000 at the stripe. Thank everyone for coming out. Hope you had a great time. All the spectators got in for free the whole weekend. Boy, they had to have a great time with that. Nothing like getting in for free. Ha, huh, like I do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Great day, great weekend. Thank you, Micro Strategies. And NHRA did a great job, too, here at ACO Dragway. Thanks, one and all. Have a great, safe ride home, please.